everybody, it's your boy Joseph Rothschild, aka MBT, and it is time for the top cut of the November 2022 Chalice Slime Monthly. I'm so proud to have brought you seven grueling rounds of Swiss today, but now we have whittled it down to your top 16. Unsurprisingly, the top deck in the top 16 is with seven entries, just shy of half, Ishizu Tierlament. After that is Fluanderese at three in top cut, and then six different decks at one apiece. Sprite, Dragonlink, Kashtira, Scareclaw, DDD, and the match we will be watching, Earth Machine. Now this Earth Machine pilot played against a uh, two-time CSM back-to-back -back champion Mount Fuji in Swiss, and in fact, they will be repeating that matchup here in top cut. And it's a little sussy because Fuji, during those games, played as if he did not know what Earth Machine was really up to. And to be honest, who can blame him? But this time, he has matchup knowledge. So we will see if after one short match versus Earth Machine, Fuji is able to bring back what was honestly an embarrassing 0-2 performance and claim his third consecutive title. And they are now ready. Let's jump into the games. And it looks like our Earth Machine player has won the die roll for all the good it did them. I think that possibly they even lost the die roll and Fuji made them go first. Uh, that's what Fuji did in Swiss, and it kind of worked out. They unfortunately were able to play through it, but their hand was like littered with dark rulers and evenly matched, and it relied on Fuji bricking for like five consecutive terms. All right, so this is a pretty normal uh, Infinitrack open here. We're going to start with Harvester, followed up with Brutal Dozer. Brutal Dozer is going to summon out this copy of Infinitrack Trencher. That's an interesting one. Uh, from here, of course, we can overlay for a copy of River Stormer. River Stormer can detach a material in order to send from deck to graveyard an Earth Machine monster. Now, notably, we could get a negate here if we add the one, the only Therion King Regulus from deck to hand, uh, but it just depends on what the hand looks like. Looks like we're going for Bullet Train, so we really need an extender here. Now, because River Stormer is not a main deck Infinitrack monster, it can be used as the link material for this card, Infinitrack Goliath. Infinitrack Goliath is a very strange card. Um, it allows you to, uh, if it's sent to the field of the graveyard, target an Xyz and attach it to this card as material. And because River Stormer can be reanimated by tributing the Goliath, it's a really easy way to get a bunch of Goliaths into the graveyard very quickly in order to fill up for a tunneler. Here we're going to go for the Ancient Gear Ballista with two Earth Machine Monsters. That's going to trigger the effect of the Ancient Gear box that we add. That's the one big garnet in the deck to get that tunneler. And then from this position, we can pretty much do whatever we want. Uh, we're going to go for tunneler. We're going to tribute this copy of uh, Ancient gear ballista then any extender is going to be able to get us into the tunneler into graveyard here the goliath will function just perfectly uh we'll be able to activate the trencher here in order to reanimate the brutal dozer and then afterwards we're able to send the copy of brutal dozer to the graveyard for another goliath afterwards we're going to be able to link summon i believe what an anger knuckle yeah an anger knuckle here and what do you know we can activate trencher in order or tunneler rather to put in mostly extra deck material which means that we'll have a high chance of drawing powerful spells and traps from our deck here we're going to use the verna sylphs an unbelievable new addition to this strategy uh in order to send a copy of dara crane to the graveyard and then reanimate something else these verna sylphs have been crazy all weekend uh, just the ability to manipulate the graveyard, move monsters in and out, have an unparalleled amount of consistency, especially in a deck that naturally resists a lot of the cards the tier limit is maining, things like the Bestials. It's almost unmatched. Here you see we are going for four extra deck monsters with the Tunneler. High percent chance that we draw into something crazy from the deck here. And even if we don't, I mean, we can probably win from this position regardless. We've got a 10 on our side of the field, um, just deciding what we're going to do next. Ugh. This deck is just like, it just does so much. There's so many decision points. Here we're going to go for the Anger Knuckle, Pitching an Awakening Forest, did draw into two copies of it for a Dare Crane. This can be overlaid for, if we want, yeah, I guess Super Dora, like it's 2015. Uh, we're also going to activate the effect of Heavy Forward in order to get that sucker under there. Uh, keep our back row clear in case we want to evenly match at some point in the far-flung future. Um, we're going to set one, two, one more, one more, three. Oh, you shouldn't have... And uh, pass back to our opponent. Behold, a control deck. So the Super Door, of course, is unaffected by cards, uh, but also it has the ability to pop things by detaching the Dara Crane. Here, we're going to pop at end step so we can trigger the effect of the Bullet Train in Graveyard. Grab ourselves, probably, yeah, the uh, Infinitrack uh, Harvester for the next turn. It's just full combo on its own. 
Now, we've seen in previous games that uh, Lacastrish's build of Earth Machine is a little unconventional. Uh, historically, you were just loaded up on Earth Machines, but uh, Lacastrish is playing so many Verna Sylphs in order to give yourself um, so many chances to like find your power cards and consistency necessary to get to what you need. They can only really complete the Infinitrack loop a single time. From there on out, they're trying to do like Machina stuff. So I imagine that if this board is outed, it's going to be a little bit of a rough time for them. Paralino into Scream is a great start for any tier limit player. Is or is one of the set cards macro? I mean, I guess we'll see. I I kind of doubt it. All right, Sheeran, if we've got something that banishes, now is the time. Uh, we are going to Super Dora here, actually. Pitching the Daracrane and targeting itself. And that's going to be met with a Havness. Oh, no. Okay, at resolution, uh, we are going to go for Havness Mill 3. Those are three pretty good ones. And then Sheeran Mill 3. Uh, that was Mudora and Havness. That's really insanely good. Uh, Scream to the Graveyard as well. No traps in Grave means we'll be able to add like a Celiac as well. So turn player starts. They're going to go Havness uh, and Scream. Then our Earth Machine Pilot will get a crack at it. We've got the Dara Crane activation in the graveyard, trying to chain block all of these activations with Scream. And we'll see if any of these trap cards are worth chaining. I mean, it's not like DD Ground or anything either. Looks like we're just going for the Paralino to prevent these uh, shuffles from also popping cards on our side of the field. Scream for three here is going to hit the Singleton Herald of the Orange Light, but also the Kelbeck and a Murley. Three really good ones there. We're going to go ahead and grab the Sullyek here, unsurprisingly. And then it's just a question of if we want to activate the Murley on a new chain. Uh, I think at minimum having access to the Kelbeck means that we're considering just like doming our opponent for five. You know, in these matchups where you're not playing against uh, the Mirror, you really do uh, fail to understand until you play against it just how powerful the ability to mill five cards off the top of a rogue player's deck is. You know, these decks are so... Um, redundant uh they have they're so consistent that they have so many singletons uh hitting five sometimes is just an ftk you know like you're against flu under reason you hit uh their mega riza uh or their toucan you're against um uh sprite and you hit a couple copies of starter you know or a uh a smashers it feels great silent graveyard feels like we would have seen silent graveyard already All right, so uh, this smacks of a Zeus line. We'll see. All right, we're going to send five and five. Uh, a Bestial, a Keldo, a Crime, a Rhino Heart. And from our Earth Machine player, yeah, these powerful spells and traps that they do not want in the grave. Trencher did make it in, but we don't have like a fantastic target for it right now. Uh, we've got the Harvester in hand, but that's a long way off. All right, so uh, here's Kid Kalos, and now you have to be thinking, like, to what end? You know, what, what are we trying to do this turn if you're the tier limit player? Uh, getting a Zeus on board would be very nice. Um, we probably, in order to out the Super Dora, are going to have to make exactly Wallow. Wallow goes to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 800 more. Ah, that's not even enough. We'd have to hit, like, a Guido Wallow. This is a hard one. And this is one of the uh, weird scenarios in which, like, the top deck being so telegraphed and it being so known what it can accomplish is a huge liability for it, right? If you build around it, you can do something like this. Just sit on a 400 defense position guy against a deck that really doesn't have the ability to out it. So it's a question now of, like, what we think the back row is. I'd really like getting Heartbeat here um, because one of them is probably Urgent Schedule. Uh... But outside of that, I have no idea what they could be. Like, you imagine if one's like Rivalry of Warlords, we would have seen it by now. You know, the worm-type mud dragon of the swamp could have screwed something up. Uh, Rhino Heart is a warrior. Um, you imagine if it was like a Gozen match, you would have seen it on the uh, mud dragon of the swamp activation. Uh, try and lock them into darks at minimum. Uh, it could be like a Forbidden Droplet, I know is pretty popular in this deck. It could be some blind second stuff that's just there as a bluff. Um, and that's going to make that Heartbeat really hard to wield. Uh, I, I really like Fuji just keeping it in hand, assuming some number of those are Floodgates and we'll have to contest them at instant speed.
All right, down comes Garua. That's one six. If we make like a four and then have a bestial in hand, we can make Wallow. Wallow's still not large enough though. It'd have to be like Wallow, Paralino. Uh, no, I mean, I I'm really trying to run through it in my head, but you just need more guys. Okay, there's dark. I don't think we have any targets for that, but I'll check. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Just trying to get board space, I feel. There's a couple of um, just like big, unoutable doofuses that Tier Limit really has a problem with. And this is one of them. You are, you are viewing it right now. Okay, we do have a Bestial, so that explains the Garua. It seems like we are, you know, sort of telegraphing that this is our this is our out to the board state. All right, we're going to chain the effect of the uh double-headed anger knuckle here. And that's going to be met with Mudora. This is a pretty spicy Mudora. Uh, all we have to do is, oh, man, we really do not have very, very competent targets here. Grab the bullet train. Great opportunity to hit the anger knuckle as well. Oh, that's what he's getting. Plus the Paralino, just putting one back into the deck. And that's going to be met with a Machina Overdrive. So... Machina Overdrive allows you to special a Machina with a different name than a targeted monster, and if you do, destroy that monster. Because it's in that order and not the other order, even though the Super Dora is unaffected, it's not going to matter. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to go grab uh, Machina Citadel here. Summon out this copy of Bestial Magdamut. And then at resolution, we'll activate Magnemot, and I imagine we'll probably chain Citadel targeting, yeah, the Super Dora. And there goes everything. <laughs> so there goes everything, but we do get to uh, draw off of Garua. Uh, we get to potentially trigger Kitkalos. Um, and then we get to trigger Dark as well. So, like, it's a fun board clear, but it's hardly the end of the road for Fuji. Like, he's going to go, like, plus seven off of this. I wonder if it's almost worth waiting for him to commit to Wallow. That Does Wallow wrong. have protection in him? I'm really not that familiar with the card, unfortunately. We're just in such a weird position here. Like, our names are just not there. Dual Keldo... Yeah, wow. This is bleak. And without additional names, I mean, I, I guess we're just setting and passing. Oh, wow. Go to end phase. Resolve the effect of Magna Mutt. That can body block pretty effectively. Um, I guess one of the set cards wasn't urgent schedule. We're going to Keldo here. I imagine we're targeting the trap card because it's one effect per turn. Yeah. So Machina Overdrive, of course, uh, allows Lacastrish uh, to perform the loop once again without having to devote too much main deck space to it. Um, banishing it here prevents that from happening and says like that... Uh, Harvester in your hand is going to have to resolve everything. You, you do not have another option. Like, kill me through at least one known bestial, or you are going to be in for it next turn. And if you're Lakashrish, I think you're thinking, yeah, okay, that's that's fine. Normal, uh, normal Harvester, you know?
Havness. Havness is good. All right, what do we got? Oh, we hit a Murley, didn't we? Murley Kelbeck. Whoa. So we can do a lot here if we're uh, if we're Fuji. That Kelbeck can potentially blank a lot from this 23-card deck. The Murley, of course, um, is even better. All right, we're going to Murley here. Uh, and Shane Kelbeck. Looks like no response out of the cash trish. All right, get it twisted, chat. Another Kelbeck. Mudora. Whoa, that's a stinky five. And a killer five out of the Earth Machine player. Was that Fortress and Overdrive? Oh my, that's unbelievable. That's that's legitimately the best thing it could have been. He would have been better off not activating Kelbeck. Oh lord. Oh wow, that's unbelievable. Okay, so all we have to chew through is one fusion, which is probably going to be named exactly Kaleido Heart. Um, and one known Bistial. Man, this is so, this is so close. This game is really kind of on a razor's edge. It's wild. So activating Kaleido Heart here kind of forces the Dora at a position when you maybe don't want to use it. Ooh, do you use it here even? How much do you care about Citadel? We're going to scream CL2, try and hit another name. Seems good. I mean, I imagine there's not very much left in Fuji's deck that isn't a hit. We're going to chain uh, Citadel. And we're going to CL4 Dora. Wow, we are going to eat the uh, the Kaleido heart here. We said, yeah, take everything, please. Wow. Oh, and we missed again. What is happening? Oh, no. Oh, that's unreal. Okay, we do get a guaranteed one off of Kaleido heart. Oh, Kaleido Heart Crime CL2, was it? Wait, what are we triggering? Oh, Havness. I just missed Havness. Sure. All right, well, that clears things up. Uh, <laughs> looks like we're going for Rukulos. And that's going to be followed up with adding back the Rhino Heart from Banished. Uh, and then we... um. We get to Kaleido as well, dumping the third name. Are we getting to do all three names every single turn? That's incredible. Uh, we haven't used Sheeran this turn, right? Just thinking. I guess theoretically we could also send Rhino Heart if we're like a gamer. Just thinking about it a lot. A nine cards left in deck. Quick reminder that he can think as long as he wants. We don't have time in top cut. Are we going to go Sullyek here? That's an interesting one. Going to grab back what? Sheeran for next turn, maybe? Havness. Wait, so what's in Grave? We just elected not to Sheeran. I guess there's no reason if we have uh, Rukulos plus uh, Kaleido Heart. We're gonna do the uh, infinite track line here. Really trying to hey, let me let me take a look. Let me take a look here. One, just one Sheeran. You imagine there's probably one in hand at the minimum. So we have Trencher, but Trencher is like this huge liability in a world where Mudora and Keldo are in graveyard. We're going to go River Stormer first. I imagine this is like as good a time as any to fire off a of Mudora. It's also a weird position because like we have a called by. So we could target the second Mudora to blank the first one to force the Keldo. And if we force the Keldo, that's the only Keldo in grave. 
which means that like then we just then we don't have to chew through any shufflers on any future turn, right? We're already three shufflers down. There's only two remaining. Crimer Celiac still set? Uh, I have no idea what's set. Like <laughs> Celiac and Crime are accounted for. All right, we're going to actually use this opportunity to gun the Machina Overdrive and shuffle back the River Stormer so we get at least a draw out of it and get to use it on a future turn. See what we got? Mm, okay. Now, we did normal, I believe. Oh, I just don't know what we're looking for. Heavy forwards, fine. Oh, Heavy Forward's actually crazy because of that second effect. I was like, eh, it's all right. Oh, wait, it attaches a material? Okay, it's it's killer. It's incredible. It's unbeatable. It's unmatched. Oh. Chat says, no, it isn't, because Dora is unaffected. That's very funny. This is uh, cool, but just cleans the board. Hmm. We can, like, eat the board here, pass back to our opponent. They don't have a ton of really good fusions to go into still. Yeah, it's hard decision for sure. <laughs> this is quick reminder, game one. All right, let's go. Uh, Brutal Dozer over the Liba. Main phase two. <sighs> oh, wow. Wow. What a line. What a line. I'm, I'm taken aback by that. Oh my God. That was so smart. I was like, why not attack the other one? I don't understand because we're going to tribute Liba for the cost of Brutal Dozer chain urgent schedule while our opponent has one monster on their side of the field. They sat on that schedule for like a year and now we get to get the freshly Mudorad back River Stormer. All we have to contest with is Keldo and the Trencher does that. <coughs> oh, this is... Wow, this is rough. This is far and away the most patient trains player I've ever seen in my entire life. I, can't, I cannot believe the patience on this player. <laughs> choo choo. Choo choo is right. Oh my goodness. Yep, new ban list, new ban list chat. It is the new list. Will a deck list for this go up? A deck list for all the top 16 will go up, yeah. Was anyone on Dark World? Uh, I believe at the beginning, but they got out very quickly. Alright, we're just making Anger Knuckle again. Go and Trencher. This is going to force Keldo, I think. It depends on how Fuji wants to play this. I wonder what that set card is. If the set card is like called by and he's sat on it forever, that's crazy. Uh, getting Harvester here. So Harvester hasn't activated its other effect, which means that theoretically we could get into a position where we like hard make a Zeus. Going for the, um, the Anger Knuckle here, pitching the Trencher in hand. Can't Zeus, we dozered this turn. Good catch, good catch. <coughs> I 
All right, back comes the no shot. Uh, okay. What's the plan here? <laughs> Time in the round. Funny. Huh. So that is going to eat the Kaleido Heart. We've activated Kaleido Heart once this turn. So it will not be coming back. If this is the end board, this is very winnable for Fuji, but we'll see. No. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> We're going to draw two at the end of this as well. Oh, <laughs> all the fun decks are out. Not yet, Revy. Not yet. They are not. Oh, this matchup is so meaty. How much gas does this have? It's all gas, baby. It's all gas. All right. Keldo here. As a, just like a, an open game state fire to hit the tunneler says, you are not drawing two additional cards. It's not happening. There's no other Keldo engraved, so we can't flex something like a called by here. Are we out of shufflers? Uh, there are two remaining in deck. But we're out of uh, Shuffler. We have a Mudora in Grave, but we've already used it this turn. Uh, shuffling back, just killer draws off the top. Okay, well, the Tunneler Dream is dead. Here's another Dream for you. In before it's Triple Tactics set as a bluff. I mean, that's very possible. Although I think we had a good Triple Tack last turn. Going Guinos. Guinos not in extra monster zone is a little strange. Alright, we are going to equip the Goliath to the Gustav Max. That's going to prevent it from... Oh, hello. Being destroyed by card effects. Which is still like something. You know, it's not super ideal, but it's something. Very strange turn, for sure. All right, end phase, we will just go ahead and grab one of those bad boys back. Do we have box and grave still? Getting Regulus here. <coughs> oh, wow. It says, next turn, this guy's coming down, so wrap it up. All right, I think this is a pretty decent position for Fuji. It's certainly the best position he's been in so far. Uh, Sheeran, good start, good start. Mill three, are we milling? I mean, honestly, <sighs> probably we can ensure that we always hit what we need later with the scream. That's Suliak Merley. We pitched Havness. So we don't have access to Rukalos or Kaleido Heart, but we have... Enough fusions that we can get them back. Garua gone as well. As long as we have like Dragus to Pelio, we're fine. Uh, actually, Kid Kalos was shuffled back, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll just make that. So we'll go Kid Kalos here with one of the more powerful fusions. And then we will uh, be able to flex into it later in the turn. Oh, they're thinking. They are thinking. All right, grabbing halfness here seems correct. I mean, it, this is a weird position to get in as um, tier limit because, like, you can just always ensure that you're always going to hit. Like, you've got, like, four cards in deck.
I'm really thinking about it. There is Dragostopelia, just like kind of an easy make here. Dragostopelia also like does a really good job contesting the Anger Knuckle, which is good, <laughs> to say the least. Wow, it, it's crazy. It's just like the person whose turn it is has been in a winning position every single turn this game, except for maybe Fuji's turn one. Infip on the Kit Kalos. That's fine. I can't imagine you have too much further to go. If we see a tier deck out, I will come. I think it is quite literally impossible. Tier just don't deck out like that. You know what I mean? It just don't happen. All right. Resolution of this chain completely fine. That was wrong. <laughs> I'm like shaking. This is so tense and it's game one. <coughs> oh, we are going for the main phase heartbeat on the set card, sniffing out an imperm. Oh, and they're gonna they're gonna allow it to shuffle back. Alright. Okay, says so fine. Sheer and trigger here. Mudora trigger here. We are down to our last shuffler in deck. Legitimately down to our very last shuffler. We're chaining Mudora so we can get the like one of the fusions back, right? Heartbeat, Kaleido, Dark, yeah. So heartbeat back. Then now that we have Kaleido back, we can go into Kaleido. We can Kaleido spin uh, the Gustav Max and then walk over the remainder. If they go for the Anger Knuckle, we can chain Dragostopelia to contest it. Yeah, this is looking pretty over, but I, I've learned this series not to count Earth Machine out of it. What if, what if the card in hand is Nibiru, you know? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? From my lips to God's ear. <laughs> A rhino heart still in hand. We know it's Regulus, yeah. That was wrong. Where's Swink? Good question. Ask him. Where is he? Where are you? Alright, Kaleido Heart here is gonna spin the Anger Knuckle, presumably. Although, really could spin anything, you know, as long as we have access to Paralino. Which I'm sure we do with four cards left in deck. Uh, we'll be able to clear that Gustav Max pretty easily. What a back and forth. There are now two games remaining. Oh, well, this is one of them, so. <clears throat> and there's the final shuffler. <laughs> Normal summon. Oh, that is, that is just too funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Make dark here. We still do not have a dark target. Oh, that's interesting. So, hmm. We actually have to be really careful with our Dragostopelia activation. Oh, there's really not a good way to do this. <coughs> We're gonna just try and put guys out, it looks like. So banishing the Sauronir here. Um 
I think Fuji has it if he executes it correctly. So Anger Knuckle is main phase only. So if we threaten battle that forces the Anger Knuckle, we chain Dragus to Pelia. And then we Keldo uh, in battle to banish the sh the Citadel. I think that's the only thing we're worried about, right? It's just going to be a matter of if he actually does it or not. Or he just makes access code. I didn't I didn't realize that was an option. <laughs> I just sort of assumed we didn't have a card like that in here. <coughs> Anger Knuckle sends for cost. Well, let's see it send while it's in the middle of a chain that can't be responded to. Wow, that was really well played right there. <laughs> Holy guacamole. We access code talker targeting the uh, Cleefort Genius. We pop the Cleefort Genius, then a resolution when they go to Citadel, we Keldo it back. We've used every shuffler, but that's exactly the amount that we needed. Then we have Lethal on board. Oh my gosh. Fuji just like... Fuji played this out of his mind. This is 900... Yeah, just it's just barely enough. Oh! Wait a minute. <gasps> Cleefort Genius is unaffected by the effects of other Link monsters. That's so funny. Wait, that's a travesty. So because of that, we can get back to Citadel in the damage step. We had to preemptively Keldo. And we just didn't. Okay, he's going to get one more crack at it. <laughs> we've, we've, we've got everything. I mean, we've got Kaleido Heart, Dragostopelia. That might be enough. <laughs> this Regulus is going to contest it. <laughs> oh, man. It all everything res everything relies on what the draw was. Literally everything just relies on what the draw was. Do we have a trencher in here? We do, but it doesn't contest the fucking Keldo. Oh my god! I think the graveyard Keldo just beats us, right? Like you have to preemptively trencher to force the Keldo, then you Regulus, then the draw has to beat this board. Ooh, this is not the way I would have done it. So now we can... Keldo targeting the target and the trencher? Or we can not do that. Is there a reason he's not Keldoing? Am I missing something? All right, scream here. Scream for three. That's, I mean, they're all hits, obviously. The whole deck is hits at this point. If you get rid of the equip, Regulus still summons? Really? Oh my god. <laughs> sure, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, Kaleido Heart CL3 targeting the uh, the Regulus. Ugh, you, you can't even really respond to this. You have to just kind of let it happen. He's going to go for the negation here. But that's completely fine with Fuji. <gasps> or is it fine at all? Oh, the draw was called by... Oh, that's not enough. That's not enough. All we gotta do here is hit the correct Keldo. Wow. <laughs> What a close fucking match. Oh, man. Oh, called by is in such a strange position right now. I, I don't fault people for playing it, but I think it is just so smelly. Such a stinky little card for the reason you are seeing on screen right now. Oh, wow. He's just thinking really hard about this, Keldo. It's like, okay... It's just not throw from this position. Very good. This is this is one of Fuji's strengths. And this is this sounds like such a silly thing to like say as a strength, but it is a lack of feeling pressured. 
you know like when when a when a game is going long and the chain is like taking a long time to resolve he will be like no you have to let me sit i'm thinking how many tiers do we have in top cut uh we had seven i believe after this may be the last game going so we'll have either three or four absolutely correct uh yeah absolutely correct hits and lacastrish will concede and that is the end of game one <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. So what am I hoping to see out of the side? Well, last time Fuji lost and made Lakashrish go first. Uh, Lakashrish is in a weird position now where their deck can kind of play through everything. So they may force Fuji to go first. And if they do, ooh, then we got a problem on our hands. Of course, uh, Tier Limit is fine at going first. But... Uh, if, if he boards wrong, you know, maybe, uh, maybe it's a little more beatable and we can just, uh, dreadnought our way out of it. Nope. Looks like, um, Lacastra says, no, 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 no. I'm going to go first. Don't worry. All right. Here comes Unclasse Spare as a mid card. Uh, <laughs> Class of Spare here is going to send, I guess what we can send anything. Fortress, uh, Ruin Force, Citadel. Yeah. Citadel. Three shifter, three macro. Uh, not really that kind of deck. We go gear gigant here. The gear gigant for box. That's like a funny, funny line. Yeah. Wow. There it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's so strange seeing this card played in the year of our Lord 2022, but there it is. Uh, gear gigant, gigant X grab harvester. Oh, how are we getting the harvester out? That's how. <laughs> We're going to go uh, Awakening Forests in order to bin a card. Uh, this could be, of course, the uh, the Ruin Forest, the Fortress. The Speeding Express Bullet Train. I've been wrong twice now. And then you can reborn anything but the Bullet Train. So let's go get Harvester. Wow, the Vernisylphs just adds so much to this deck. They are just truly shocking in their utility. Gear Gigan also searches Cyberstein and Valence. Yeah, but this ain't about them. <laughs> okay, this is a great position to be in. Having Brutal Dozer with a monster that is not a Harvester on field means that we get to go for this fun little line first. Brutal Dozer pitch the, uh, the Goliath, then we Brutal Dozer for, what, a Trencher or a Tunneler or whatever. Tunneler it is. All right, and then we're going to go for River Stormer. River Stormer will send the Fortress or the Ruin Force or the Trencher. Listen, one of these days I'm going to be right about what they're sending. They added to hand. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm, I'm just cursed. These Earth Machine players are on another level. I am, I am not on their level. All right, uh, we're going to go for Goliath here. We can trigger the uh, River Stormer and Graveyard Cycle out that Goliath. Or we can link summon a Ballista. Uh, looks like we did not draw the box two games in a row. That's great news. Uh, box really makes these hands uh, extremely clunky, but in hands where it's still in deck, it's so nice. Going to trigger box here. We can grab anything, and anything in this scenario is probably Trencher. Yep. Uh, 500, by the way, not Ancient Gear. All right, we're going to go for Trencher here, pitch the Ballista, summon the Trencher, tribute the Trencher for a Goliath. How many Goliath have we been through? We can Trencher for the third Goliath as well. Oh, say it ain't so. Trencher bring back Brutal Dozer. And then let's make an Anger Knuckle. All right, let's draw some cards. We've got a Dara Crane in hand, so I imagine we have like an extender. All right, uh, Goliath, 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 uh, Brutal Dozer, Gear Gigant. So that Brutal Dozer is going back in deck. The rest go to the extra. I'll draw a couple of cards. Seven in hand, by the way, at the end of all this. 
Ooh, and we finally found the redeployment. Okay, redeployment is going to get probably Ruin Force and Fortress, because we could pitch the Ruin Force for the Fortress. <laughs> no, we're going to get Gear Frame for next turn. Did we open Ruin Force? Is that what happened? Maybe we're not even playing Ruin Force, and I'm just out of my mind. They're thinking about it. Uh, heavy Forward next. Allows them to get an Infinitrack from their deck to their hand. They're going to get Trencher number two. All right, we're going to cycle this bad boy out. Uh, pitching the Fortress for the Super Express wrong. Bullet Train. Now we have the Dare Crane in hand we can trigger here. We can end on that Dora once again. <clears throat> this is quite the setup. Dora. Oh! This is a well timed Kelbeck. So we are going to still get to Dora, but we are not going to have the Anger Knuckle for follow up. That's pretty crazy. It, it's in a weird scenario because you can't. What you want to target there is the uh, the bullet train, and obviously you can't. Uh, we're going to equip the heavy forward to the Super Dora, and uh, let's get setting. Am I right? One. Two. Just two? That's kind of mid. Those three cards in hand better be crazy. End phase, we're going to pitch the bullet train, target the super Dora, activate the bullet train. And we'll grab ourselves really anything here. Um, seems like, man, I, I am just like so weirded out by the gear frame ad there, right? Because why would they add the gear frame to hand off the redeployment if they didn't also open Ruin Force. Because they have the gear frame in Graveyard, they can add it back to the hand at the end phase with the Super Express Bullet Train. It, I feel like there's got to be a Ruin Force in hand and they just didn't have a good reason to go for it. Goes and match! Enjoy your Earth Monster. Wow, that's, that's a really strange decision. Oh, he says, I will enjoy my Earth Monster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this does anything, but Babuska? I mean Baguska into a Oh, Baguska does contest Super Dora. Alright, we got two turns to figure this one out, baby. Oh, this is gonna negate the effect of the Super Dora, right? <laughs> No, it's still fine. Um, we can, even though the effect is negated, uh, Dare Crane won't be, and we can use Dare Crane to pop the Baguska. I wonder why we did this in main. I feel like we just wait till end phase because now we've unlocked him. And now we just get to play Tier Lament, you know? All right, cheering time. <laughs> what a strange decision. Uh, we hit a Shuffler. Uh, nothing quick and grave. Good opportunity to get the Citadel if we want. I mean, there's just a lot we can do here. We better have something. It's gotta be, like, called by exactly into a whiff. <coughs> well, we got the whiff! They go Kit Kalos here. All right, there's Kit Kalos. Kit Kalos one, Scream two. Screaming for like a Sullyek is fine here. Ooh, Imperm is it. Firing off the Imperm here on the Kit Kalos. Pretty crazy, but I mean, getting like a, like a Sullyek still is unbelievable. Just set Sullyek pass, right? I mean, that's that's nuts. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, I mean... Yeah! Uh, <laughs> normal summon gear frame pretty good. Okay, get the freaking Ruin Force! Come on! How do we still have targets for this? 
Scream 2. God, just having Scream on field is just such a huge liability. I wonder if it was even worth going to battle here. Jeez, wow, those are three pretty good ones. There's the Ruin Force. We did it. We found the Ruin Force. <sighs> That's a crazy haveness as well because this um this screen milled a Rhino Heart. So if we want, we can even flex in a Kaleido. Kaleido forces the Super Dora, at which point they just Sullyak sending the Kaleido, and then they just get to do whatever they want. It's got to be like a, a Cosmic in hand at this point. Like they and they had to draw the cosmic for turn because otherwise they probably would have said it. How do we get out from under our own Gozen? Why would we want to get out from under our own Gozen? Our Gozen's fine. The only thing it cuts us off of is Rune Force, but Rune Force is more than anything else just a good singleton card that can summon um Fortress. Wow. Uh, yeah, it really feels like if uh if they just let Fuji pass on Baguska, could have popped it at end step and just won the game. But unlocking the hand there, just a huge, huge mistake. Uh, they're going Rukulos here? No, wait, what are they going? Garua? Oh, I missed it completely. It was Kaleido Heart. Okay, Kaleido Heart, target Dora. <clears throat> you could even target the Gozen match if you want to be especially spicy. He's really thinking about this one. Like, you target the Dora, the Dora activates, you chain Sullyak, you send Kaleido, Kaleido returns, you send, then you can go like Rukulos if you want. But that also might not be enough, you know? Like, we've seen this deck play through boards like that with ease, you know? Um, for instance, just Fortress outs that board in terms of uh, its interaction. So kind of hard for sure. We are going, we are going Dora. Um, yeah, the other thing that's kind of gumming up the uh, the the uh, the board state here is that I think isn't Rukulos water for like branded and high spirits. So we don't really even have access to that. Like outside of these two, we can make Dragostapelia, which is a good card. Um, yeah, as expected, here's what we're doing. We can make Garua? So this is going to shuffle the Dora, but who care? So Dora negated. I wonder if in... I don't know. I mean... Even if, if you send Kit or you send Kaleido, you're expecting to hit a name. And if you hit a name, you get one of them. And it's got to be Dragostapelia, I feel. Is he going to shuffle the uh, Gozen? No, we um we already targeted the uh, the Dora. Okay, we are sending the uh, the Kit Kalos. We're just trying to get lucky here. Hit a couple names. We hit the same name twice and Keldo. Keldo at minimum contests like some graveyard shenanigans. Uh, yeah, there's Dragostapelia. And of course, we're doing all this in defense position because in Swiss, Fuji got blown out by this deck. And, you know, the Earth Machine player says, good, all right, we're good. It's Fortress time, you know. Fortress can uh, contests the Dragostapelia. And then we just got to find an out to uh, Kaleido Heart. Hmm. Unfortunately, the best out to Kaleido Heart is. Ruin Force, but it's a dark. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to Keldo the Trencher target. You can Keldo the Trencher target plus Citadel plus, like, Terraforming or Paralino here. We hit a couple Paralinos, actually. That's, that's pretty rough.
All right. I mean, cards on the table. What's in the hand? What could possibly in the, be in the hand that's like gumming it up? Oh, not urgent schedule. Please not urgent schedule. That's It's literally the end of the game if it's urgent schedule. <gasps> Negating Gozen. So, holy shit. That was so smart. Uh, that forces the Dragus to Pelia because they know that there's a uh, a Ruin Force in hand. Now we can pitch the uh, the Ruin Force for the Fortress. I mean, that's not going to... That still doesn't out the Kaleido Heart. We still have to find it out to that card. There's one. Yep. I, we knew that. We knew that there was Brutal Dozer already. Okay, so we can Brutal Dozer for Harvester. Mm, the Anger Knuckle could come back. Uh, we're doing Goliath lines here. River Stormer for Goliath. Summon Stormer. Stormer for Goliath. Goliath Trigger. Stormer Effect. Donk Goliath. Who are we even looking for? That's a good one. <laughs> wow, that was that was such a cool play. The self goes and negate threatening ruin force. That's such a neat play. Is the anger knuckle engraved? It was in extra. <clears throat> anger knuckle tag out for um for Express, Special Dara Crane. <laughs> Baby, we are back. We can go to combat, eat the entire field. Oh, wow. It's so funny how much a difference the Scream 500 makes. Yeah. Gustav. What are we cracking with Gustav? Oh, can Dara Crane pop our own cards? No, I can't. Okay. I was like, if we could pop our own goes in here, we just win. <laughs> yeah, we're we're just uh cracking the uh the speeding express. Alright, um there goes Kaleido. Not sent by card effect, so it's fine. There goes Dragus Tapelia. Get in for two K off the fortress. Down to four. I mean, that's the entire turn though. Like <laughs> that's it. Fuji has to draw a tier limit and he wins but he's really got to draw a tier limit we're earth locked you're right we did we did uh we did get earth locked over the course of this turn you're correct set one. Oh, fuji scopes Yo, we're going to game three. <laughs> this is, you know what? We're canceling the rest of the tournament. This is finals. I was hoping to go to locals at six, but it looks like we may not get out of this match by then. <laughs> Rebecca is like crying. If you want to take a little EP nap, that's fine. I think you got some time. Can we get 10 more games of this? Kinda. See, kinda though. <laughs> it has now been one hour since Top 16 started. And what's the problem? You got an issue? If you got an issue, I got a tissue. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. If you got an issue, I got a tissue. There's another Top Cut player who has to leave in an hour. Okay, that's unfortunate for them i'm sorry to hear that <clears throat> i don't know if they have to leave in an hour they were planning on playing four rounds in two hours that doesn't sound very likely All right. 
So pretty standard tier opening. Uh, Scream, <laughs> we did draw the God card. Uh, we're going to cycle for a Rhino Heart here. That's interesting. Kid Kalos for five, Scream for three, Rhino for one. This is as good as it gets for Mills. <laughs> uh, both Shufflers. God, we're still on the Bistids. I mean, they're just good as extenders. Uh, did we hit a trap here? We did not. Okay, that was one name, but it's a good name. So we can send uh, like a Havness here. Havness and Kid Close into... Yeah, that's what we're doing. In a Rucolos, Merly, Rhino Heart, Rhino Heart into Kaleido Heart. Depends on what the hand looks like, but we, we've got some lines. More important than anything else, though, is that he hit both names for the Shufflers. Like, what we've learned over the course of these matches is that the Shufflers are king. They are so important. By a large margin, the most important thing in the matchup. You can't double Rhino into Kaleido. Oh, really? Is it different names? Oh, because it's it has to be um the Aqua ones, right? That's annoying. Please upload this set alongside top eight. We always upload top 16. Don't worry. <clears throat> this is also the feature. Like, we haven't moved from this match. It's just been going on for an hour. Okay, so we're going to go Bisted and Havness for a Garu for a Mud Dragon, rather. Sorry, yeah, Garua doesn't work that way. Okay, so we can make, like, Redoer or Baguska or Dweller here. Does this deck have an out to Baguska? Uh, that's a good question, actually. Like, Baguska, Keldo, Keldo? Man, this is hard. This is a difficult one. Like, obviously, you're playing Baguska for, like, flu. But... I don't know if I'm handy here. It looks like... Genius is the out? Yeah, Genius does out it. Seems like you could kind of, like, play around that, though. Oh, God, if they had a Pellerino, this would just be a different end board. Going for Dweller here, it looks like. Okay, I mean, if that set is a, um... <clears throat> if that sets anything... There's a Bist Dweller. Yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> didn't... <laughs> Don't like this, do you? Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Good start. Good start. That's the best normal in the deck. Gonna be met with the Scream here. Hitting three. What do we get? Unclos Aspare the ad. We found a Sullyek. And the Keldo, that almost telegraphs that that set card is a crime. Celiac here gets to trigger, which is nice. <clears throat> hmm. Special Unclos Spare. Unclos Spare effect. Send Ruin Force or... What the heck? How is that the send? In what world is that the send? <clears throat> they know something I don't. They know something I don't. I'm convinced they know something that I don't. Okay, I have learned what they know that I don't. And that's that they opened Fortress. <laughs> <clears throat> There's just there's just no way to out this Rukolos that's pretty. Like every single card in this deck loses to Rukolos. <clears throat> Gear Gigant X again. We can grab box here if we want. We can grab we have a lot of options.
I wonder how much Abyss Dweller is screwing this up. Like, Citadel triggers Engrave, uh, Tunneler triggers Engrave, Trencher triggers Engrave, River Stormer triggers Engrave, but that's like it? Oh, you think it's just like a Zeus line? That might be decent, but then why summon the, um, the fortress? You know? Going to battle. Maybe it is a Zeus line. <laughs> the attack reduction on Scream is <laughs> really doing it for me today. <clears throat> Gigant. We're trying it. It was crime. As expected, it was crime. Pitching Sheeran. Sheeran effect here. We can go Sheeran into Kaleido, right? We can. No, we can't. I mean, we can. We'd have to use Rukalos. We're just going into Kit again. <clears throat> hmm. Kit here. I think we just grab like Havness, right? Wow. This is such a stinker too, cause there's just so little the machine player can accomplish from here. Like if that, if that gear gigant search resolved, they were probably favored in this game. <laughs> as silly as that sounds. Oh, getting Sheeran. Do we already have Havness? We're just chilling. Or maybe he thinks I don't need it. Like, I would rather have the guaranteed, you know, special next turn, the six mils. This reminds me of that Prank Kids VW semifinal. Very true, very true. And right, Mudora here, just going to shuffle everything back and end step. Oh, wow. What an interesting, interesting game one and two. But it looks like game three is just going to be a blowout on the part of Mount Fuji. Unless that set card is like exactly urgent schedule, I legitimately cannot. Even urgent schedule doesn't beat Rukulos, right? It's a rivalry. Uh, these are both aqua, right? <laughs> All right, that's fine. <laughs> uh, you sure. I imagine he's just trying to like get him on like a Kelbeck or something, but. <sighs> They can't Kaleido Heart now. I mean, eventually they will be able to. And they may not need to. So, um, Fortress is actually kind of difficult to deal with. Uh, it targets a card and destroys that target. Not the target that destroyed it. Which means that, like, there's some crusty stuff you can do with it. Alright, we're just going to mill uh, 11 here and see what happens. What happened? Well, we got Sheeran and Murley and Twin Twister and Crime and Murley and Rhino Heart. Now, how many of those can we flex into something? I believe zero. <laughs> I'm pretty sure none, right? Yeah. <laughs>
So we can go Keldo, put back Kit. So we can use the Sheeran in hand to hit any name and go back into Kit. Then Kit can add, is Heartbeat in Grave? Oh god, if we shuffle Heartbeat, that's the line for sure. Oh, Heartbeat's in Deck. Oh shit, that's just lethal. All we have to do is hit a name here. Uh, Havness will do. Wow, that was <laughs> that was very well played. I, I didn't even see that line. That's incredible. <clears throat> uh oh, I guess it's a it's not exactly lethal, yeah, chat, but it, it puts him in a winning position. Alright, uh we we are grabbing the uh the heartbeat. Fire the heartbeat, target the rivalry. Uh, if the card in hand is a name, we win. Oh, that's a name. <laughs> um, uh, oh, geez. D does he even feel like doing it? I mean, yeah, right. Have we used Merly? Um, no. We've used the Merly on field. Uh, we can actually even go dark here. <laughs> yes, Unclasa Sparring. Uh, <laughs> there we go in Sprint. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Sprint is going to send Murley. Um, Murley's going to go into Kaleido Heart. Kaleido Heart's going to shuffle uh, Mac into Fortress. We do get to shuffle a card from the hand back into the deck. All right, Nibiru or Bust, right the hell now. <clears throat> hmm. Wow. Oh, man. Fuji played this so well. I'm I am dumbfounded. Both of these players played out of their mind for this best of three. Holy hell. And it looks like after 10,000 years, Tier Lament will be advancing over Earth Machine. Though I got to tell you, I was really, really impressed with this deck that honestly... I did not think was going to even take a game off. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I guess I got to send an apology to peeps. That's uh, that's crazy. All right, well, unsurprisingly, that was the last match of top 16. So we're going to be gone momentarily. We'll come back with top eight. Don't go anywhere. Still a lot of game to play. See you soon. Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and it is time for the top eight of your November 2022 Chalice Slime Monthly. We are in a weird position. In the top 16, there were a ton of different decks represented. In the top eight, there are less. Of the top eight, one of them is Chaos Bestial Thunder, the deck we will be watching. One of them is Sprite. One of them is Fluanderies. And the rest are Ishizu Tier Limit. This means, unfortunately, that all the Ishizu tiers are on opposite sides of the bracket. And there is a very real possibility, if three of these matches go in the way they are favored to go, that we have a semi-final Tier Limit Ishizu closeout. I am really hoping that does not happen. And one of the decks that I think has the best chance at stopping that from happening is the match that we are watching right now. Snow Lamy is going to be playing a Shizu Tier Lament, and the Dragon Saint is going to be on a list that they have requested me refer to as CBT. Uh, truthfully, it's just kind of Dragon Link, playing the Chaos Extenders, uh, plus the Bestials, plus a sizable Thunder Dragon package, in order to uh, take advantage of the fact that Ashizu Tier Lament will be putting cards in your graveyard. If they mill your Lubellion, you feel pretty good. Let's head over there now. And great news for our CBT enthusiasts. They've won the die roll. Uh, the Bestial Lubellion, a pretty fantastic way to start getting a Magnemut into the hand. Next, we're going to activate the effect of uh, terraforming. Okay. <laughs> it appears that I have lied. I've misled you. Uh, the tier limit player won the die roll and is playing a huge bestial package. Wow. 
Okay, so uh, what you're seeing here is a little bit of what we like to call metagaming. Understanding that uh, in the tier limit mirror, people are going to be firing Kelbex into Guido's left and right. Uh, they're giving themselves a lot of really good cards to send to the graveyard. And the Bestial Lubellion is a fantastic hit off of any mill. I imagine that the end goal here is going to be to set up Branded Beast, Branded Regained, and of course, the classic tier limit board. You saw a glimpse of what's to come in here as well. This deck is playing a pretty sizable adventure engine. This is like, the concept of this one is that actually it's, uh, Ishizu Tier Limit is just like so far above every other deck, you're allowed to play bricky nonsense. You can just play garbage. Like, what are they going to do? All right, we're going to go for, uh, Kitkalos here. And we're going to go for a Murley. All right, time for eight. Ready? Merly 1, Kitkalos 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And unfortunately uh, for our CBT enthusiasts, we have hit an Enchantress of the Temple. Oh my goodness gracious. We hit a Shuffler. We hit Cartesia. We hit Serenir. Magnemut coming down on the Havness, but I think that is the least of your worries, pal. We got a lot going on here. Oh, jeez. Okay. So down comes the uh, Magnum. It will activate the effect on a new chain. We'll resolve this chain first. We're going to send the Branded Regained. Rebranded was just such a much better name. Then on new chain, we're going to activate the effect of the Magnum. <laughs> they are not playing Cartesia. Come on. Well, Cartesia makes complete sense in this build. All right. Let's uh, follow it up with the Water Enchantress of the Temple. That Water Enchantress of the Temple is going to grab a Rite of Aramisir. We're going to go for that. That's going to get us access to both Fateful Adventure and Wandering Griffin Rider, which actually has a big enough butt that the Bestials have a hard time getting over it. Oh, man. This, <laughs> this deck is so neat. It's such a silly little twist. I was promised CBT. You're going to get it? Gosh. Chad, you need to learn to be patient for CBT, all right? You think that anyone can just perform CBT at any time. Wait, you'll get there. Down comes the Wandering Griffin Rider, and we are off to the race's fateful adventure. The follow-up. We're going to grab the Draco back. Ooh, what if we Draco back the Magnemite? <laughs> Maybe not the right option, but we'll see. Now, we haven't performed a normal yet. So, theoretically, we could do so and then make, like, a sprint. But I don't know how much room this deck has. Like, it sure seems like it's packed to the gills already. Ah. <laughs> Uh, not super ideal, but it looks like what we're going to do here is main phase Mudora, shuffling back some number of cards, including a tier limit, so that we can use Perlino to pop Merly. I don't really like that, though, because it looks like we don't have much to go into. Uh, putting the Branded Beast and the Kitkalos back? Sure. Uh, we get to trigger Perlino here, we can pop the Merly. Oh, we're popping the Magnemut. Oh, sheesh. Okay, we do still have continued extension. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> We're going to start using our own bestials on our opponent's bestials. All right, so that's going to tag out for the bestial Lubellion. And now that we have a branded beast back in deck, we can, we can use Lubellion for it to grab that bad boy. Normal Summon Rhino Heart. That's a pretty good one. Remains to be seen if we actually use the effect here. Depends on how far we want to go. Yeah, I, I think that's the right play. Uh, go for Elf here. Um, we've only got the Merly as a target, but that's fine. And just passing turn here. 
I mean, this is more than okay. So Magnemut is going to resolve. Uh, we'll grab uh, Druus Worm. Our opponent's Magnemut is going to resolve. Uh, we're going to Branded Beast targeting that uh, Branded Regained, and uh, then we are going to pass it back. Whew. This is a lot. This is a lot. Can I find Scareclaw gameplay here? Not anymore. All right, the Dragon Saint drawing for turn. Let's see what we've got here. So we've seen a significant amount of stuff out of this list. Um, we know that they are on a pretty sizable bestial package, unsurprisingly. That's where the B comes from. Uh, but we know that they are also on, like, a pretty sizable Thunder Dragon package. They're on Allures of Darkness. They're on Chaos Space, the Chaos Dragons. They're on uh, the Sed Retrain, Chaos Dragon Levy and Nier. There's just, like, a lot of guys in here. Brotar. All right, down goes Magnemut. What's next? Uh, we're going to go for Regained here. Oh, no shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. I mean, I, I guess so, you know. <laughs> Dark Greffer also in this deck. And I wonder if you donk this guy. I think just trying to get a bestial out of our opponent here. Doing Druus Worm here. Want to preserve like a potential Magnemut. Uh, because they control a monster, we could maybe respond with one of our own bestials. All right. We are going for it. Uh, resolution, we're going to go Elf. Bring back Murley. Do we have the Magnemut? We have a called by. Oh my goodness. Is that worth the adventure negate? Yeah, probably, right? Yeah, then we chain Magnemut. Wow, the CBT player played that extremely well. Uh, we can at least Druus Worm targeting our own Murley, but that's kind of a cold comfort at this point. Then we'll Branded Beast targeting the Dark Greffer. Yeah, that seems right. Who six deep on this one. All right, Druus Worm out. Uh, Magnum up back in hand. Uh, Sprite Elf resolves without effect. And now we are just looking at dueling uh, Druus Worms. We know that the Hand of the Dragon Saint includes at least the Magnum up, which is just dead as hell. The other two cards have got to be pretty crazy extenders, right? In order to get out of this. The Chaos Dragons would be fantastic. Uh, Tactics Talents, not bad. Not a bad one there. I imagine we're going to be taking control of that uh, Druus Worm. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, that's a, that's a decent one. Um, and this is... Oh, I love this so much. Hieratic Dragon, King of Atum. So we're going to go to combat. Uh, I mean, either one's fine. Oh, are we just doing Zeus here? Huh. Going to battle phase here means that we aren't going to be able to actually activate Atum in main phase 2. So I'm I wonder why they did this. Uh we just make Zeus here. Just a big Zeus. Gaia Dragon? Ah uh, no, just Zeus. Um I wonder if we even fire in main phase. Probably not. <coughs> There's just like a lot of scenarios where we can get into trouble. All that just for a Zeus. Sheesh. 
Yeah, we are going to do it. But we sent our opponents... We sent our opponent's copy of uh, Druiswarm. Yeah, that's fine. It's field to the graveyard. All right. Uh, we have to beat zero negates from the side of the uh, the CBT player. Mm. Cool. Well, uh, Water Enchantress will be a good start. Um, we probably don't have another copy of Fateful Adventure. Uh, or maybe we do. If there was one deck that was going to play two copies of Fateful Adventure, it's probably the one that did a lot of random milling. Let's see. <laughs> Five cards in hand might be doable. Just have to be literally anything. Did we draw the Wandering Griffin Rider for turn? That would be so very funny. We have the Draco back from last turn. We just never fired it. So uh, get that bad boy out of there. And, uh, I don't know. Now let's normal summon Rhino Heart and win. Huh? Do we have it? Normal summon Rhino Heart? Huh? Uh, the Bestial Lubellion. Okay, so this one is actually not lethal, because we know they have a Magnemut. So we go Magnemut, and then they go Magnemut, and then it's a problem. <clears throat> Hmm. I mean, we're going to try for it, it looks like. Targeting one of our Lubellions. Our opponent's going to chain their Magnemot. Do we have a third guy? <laughs> the Bestial Wars are so funny. Alright, we knew this card was there, so what's our plan for it? Mudora, shuffle the target. That doesn't resolve anything. <laughs> it just makes us feel a little better. <laughs> All right. Now that we have now that we have both shown each other our magnemuts, like we're playing Go Fish, it's time to actually play the game. Pellerino. Sheeran. There are so very many cards that win the game immediately. Is it possible we don't have any of them in our four-card hand? Um... <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, goodness gracious, no. <laughs> Keldo beats, baby. Keldo beats. Sometimes he does. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, like, this is almost half of, you know, Dragon Saint's life points. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. We're going Druusworm. And there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> that Keldo is offline for the moment. Man, that Magnemut just existing to contest our Magnemut is so funny. <laughs> Okay, um, we are just going to play the old... We're, we're going to do the dance here. Magnum and the Magnum and the Magnum and the Magnum. Do we draw another Bestial? Is that why we're doing this? Oh, no, it's not. Whatever we drew, it better be able to contest this. <clears throat> danger Nessie. Hit the danger. One time, hit the danger. American Sniper! Alright, he's got to lose another 50-50. We know he plays Jackalope as well. Alright, hit the Jackalope. Hit the Jackalope. 
Sniper! Hey! Let's go! Hey! Uh, too easy, baby. Uh, it's just too easy. So we could tribute summon the uh, Magnemut if we want, and then like overlay for Beatrice. I don't know if they're playing Beatrice, but... Yeah, Dark seems pretty good here. Uh, we get to eat the Magnemut or the Keldo or the Token. <laughs> Eating the Magnemut, sure. We're going to Dark targeting the Magnemut, chain Keldo from field, pass. That seems pretty good. Yep. Keldo shuffle uh, back the Magnemut and a bunch of really crazy cards from the graveyard. Uh, normal summon Magnemut <laughs> attack. <laughs> <laughs> that that does it does clear the token i will say it does clear the token <clears throat> i feel like that last one we were just playing balls to the wall combo nonsense and this one is just like summon gemini elf <laughs> yeah we can crash dark search um I mean, <laughs> I'm sure there's got to be something, right? Ah, Levianir. Okay, well, that is a card. Do we have any lights in here? What if you just, like, hold A and Druisworm the last remaining light? <laughs> you just, like, darks only, idiot. <laughs> I guess we're blowing up the board. Yeah. Out my vanilla and pass. Out my vanilla. Oh, you found the card that outs my vanilla? All right. That's cool. Druid Swarm at end step. What are we targeting? I don't even know if I like Druid Swarm at end step. They just don't want it to get interrupted by the Magnemoth that's already fired this turn. I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> Can we beat the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Good question. Good question. There's Cartesia. That's a good one. Ooh, it's Baron time, baby. Wow, it's literally over. We get to go Druus Worm, eat the, uh, the Chaos. Uh, the Baron contests the Bestial. Lubellion is our last card in hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th this is over. <clears throat> Oh, so that's why they play Cartesia? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Magnemut, target, whatever. They chain Magnemut. We Baron, and then, you know, we go next game. Whew. <laughs> uh, all right, game two. All right, uh, pulls up, pulls up, pulls up. Oh, okay. <coughs> I got to be honest with you, chat. That last one took a lot out of me. Whew. I'm back into it, baby. I'm back into it. So it's time for game two, the Dragon State leading off. And we are going to see the Thunder half of this deck right now. Battery Man Solar coming down. We're going to send from deck to graveyard a copy of... Probably Dark. Yeah, Thunder Dragon Dark. There it goes. Uh, any Chaos guy will allow us to trigger the effect of that card. Hey, there's Magnemut. Ooh, and this is weird. Uh, you can, like, Magnemut in response to this Magnemut, but it still accomplishes the same thing, which is the Thunder Dragon Dark gets to activate its effect. Looks like uh, Snow Lamy is just going to let it go. <clears throat> Thunder Dragon Dark's going to trigger here. That's going to add any Thunder Dragon card from deck to hand. I believe we are playing just Hawk. Like, Dark and Hawk only, almost. Yeah. And then, of course, Magnemut's on field effect will resolve as well. And then we'll go Hawk targeting Dark. And we'll trigger Solar. 
Uh, and one thing that we've seen uh, the CBT deck do a lot is make Saruya. Saruya, very, very good uh, in this deck. It bricks like nobody's business. Speaking of, <laughs> we're going to draw four here and shuffle three back. Any second now. This is a big thing. Are they playing the one material link for? No. Boy, that card just has not shown up at all, huh? <clears throat> is it Saru Ya or Saru Ja? I've been saying Saru Ja, but I feel like that's not correct. Okay, we found Roar. I guess that explains why we were <laughs> holding it. Roar here is going to summon. Uh, we're going to grab another Thunder Dragon Dark, of course. We've already used Dark this turn. That is a hard once per turn. And then afterwards, we're going to go for the uh, Bestial Lubellion. Sprite and Flu are out! So, you're telling me that this is the last opportunity for a non-tier element semifinals and finals? <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Okay. MBT, I thought you liked this format smile. You know what? I do. I'm actually giddy at the prospect of uh, casting an, a couple tier limit mirrors back to back. I love Earth Machine versus DDD round one. No, that's not what happened. Uh, Surya Skeldred here, uh, triggering alongside Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. We are on Pisty. Wow, we're really going in. So we'll grab White Dragon Wyver Burster here. And then we're going to go for Pisty, I imagine. Do we have a good guy? No, we're making this first. Now we make LP, right? Yeah, that's that's what happens. No flu in top cut. There was a ton of flu in top cut. It just all cratered. I think it's Striker Dragon, rather. <clears throat> Joseph is actually just using the CSM to learn tier strats. Correct. Can you all stop being horny in chat? Come on now. All right, Pisty. Oh, we'll be met with Druus Worm. All right, we have a piece of interaction here. That's a pretty big blank, to be honest. We can make another Saruya if we're just like evil. Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't take a card. Don't take a card. Oh, no, we're confiscationing. Or forceful sentrying? Oh, jeez. This hand is... This hand is actually not very good. If you take Pellerino out of that hand, it's not very strong at all. <clears throat> Pellerino really made that hand. Now we've got, like, the entire adventure line and then the one that you have to normal summon. Like, if you could Pellerino for Sheeran, you're, you're living, you're like, you're big chilling, but not, uh, not, not, not otherwise. 
Now, yes, if they draw the field spell, then they're just they just want it more. At table one, Ishizu Tierleman has advanced. You're telling me this is the last game still going? Cool. <laughs> the Bestial Lubellion. Sorry, your triggers here. We could just send another Bestial Lubellion to the graveyard. Or we can send Branded Regained. Lubellion for Branded Beast. End step will get that regained. Feature match, uh, don't be the last match still going. Challenge impossible. Very true, very true. Uh, we are actually going to use Branded Beast to crack the Druis Worm. What if we Druis Worm crack the Branded Beast? I mean, I feel like that's that that's got to be the play, right? I should crack Saruya too and be like, good luck. Oh, we're grabbing the Lubellion. Okay. Hmm. That's a weird one. Oh, it ultimately targets special summoned monsters. I thought this card was way better than it was. I don't know why I assumed it was like, yeah, yeah, this card just does everything. This is turn one. Yeah. Me when my opponent draw two hand trap, one hand trap. Seals pass! Honestly, Seals, uh, Branded Beast, uh, Branded Regained is kind of an FTK. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> Alright, Beast here for Regained, and good luck! All right, let's see what the draw was. We know everything in the hand but the draw. So it's Griffin, Enchantress, Rhino Heart. We are going for the Enchantress. So whatever is going on in this hand, the Rhino Heart is not going to be a part of it. So we're going to go a Ramesir, uh CL2 Wandering Griffin Rider, which beats the Spheres. Uh, but then we have to have pretty much exactly the field spell. Like I, I hazard, I struggle to think of another card that does it other than the field spell. Scream, maybe? We could get, like, a really lucky Scream. They're gonna regain here. Wow. Sure. Grab back Sarnir. It's gonna turn Beast back on. I'm gonna go Fateful Adventure, grab the, uh, Draco back off that. Are we spheresing to target Fateful Adventure? I imagine you're like really okay with that. All right, uh, we are going to resolve spheres here. Bounce. Maybe bounce the Griffin, perhaps. Yeah, and then um, Fateful Adventure will just go grab Draco back. Draco back, target like the Branded Beast to get it off the field, and then the card in hand again has to be the field spell. It pretty much has to. <clears throat> Spheres here for Brotar. We've seen Brotar, we've seen Magnemut. Yeah, Brotar. Brotar here targeting Saranir, uh, pitching Thunder Dragon Dark. That's crazy for Magnemut. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Alright, Fateful Adventure to draw and discard. So we're going to get the other Enchantress into rotation. Hmm. This is a hard line. I just feel like this Adventure uh, Ishizu deck is, is so confused. It just has so much going on. And we're seeing it, like, run up against its own little Nambos constantly. Okay, uh, we're going to go Draco back here. Target our monster. Maybe that... Either way, this is going to force out the beast. Mm. 
Yeah. <sighs> okay. Brand of Beast. Pop the Brotar. Pop the token. Whoa. Okay. The field spell. There's one unknown in hand. Oh! They just wanted it more! Oh, they just wanted it more! <laughs> they, they legitimately just wanted it more. Holy shit. Alright, pitch the Rhino Heart here. We gotta hit, I think, two names. Because they have the Magnumut in hand. I, even now, they're not in a great position. Ah, oh, that's really good. That's unbelievable. Sheer in here. They chain Magnumut. Uh, we chain... Uh, what? Magna Butt. Are we still dead? <laughs> After all that, are we still dead? We had to hit two names and we didn't. We can Keldo to Blanket, but it doesn't do anything, right? Get it twisted. <laughs> Legitimately get it twisted. We know the cards in hand are, um... What? Uh... The... Griffin and the... We totally know this. Rhino? No, they just pitched the Rhino. For the Sheeran. If it was Rhino, it'd be great. <clears throat> hmm. Enchantress? No, they led with Enchantress. What the hell? What is it? Is there a random additional unknown that they picked up somewhere? How would they have even drawn a card? They sh searched an Enchantress? Yeah, that one's in the grave. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's Enchantress Griffin. Okay, so we can normal Enchantress go uh, dark target Magnumut. Ugh. <laughs> That's that's pretty stinky. We can go Enchantress target anyone. Then go Sprint. Oh, does that do it? Yo, that does it! That totally does it! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my golly gosh, dang G Willikers! Ah, oh, okay, well... We tried our hardest. <laughs> Man, I can't believe how close they were to doing that. That's truly shocking. Battle phase. Yeah, just eat the... It doesn't even matter. Eat the Brotar here. Well, that's Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, sometimes you draw Pellerino and lose. <laughs> Magnabot. Don't have to worry about nothing. Magnamut effect. Regained effect. Lubellion draw. Mm. I'm fading, chat. I am fading. I need I need some high octane energy. In the form of tier limit mirrors. Stat. Okay, thank god that there's a, that a card wrong. in this deck that just wins the game immediately. Uh, yep. There goes dark. Here's a fun question. Why are we still in this game? <laughs> Where's Blade Yu-Gi-Oh? I actually saw Blade at an event. I thought he just straight up stopped playing. Which would be good. I honestly, I legitimately was like, Blade, you're in college. You know, go do college stuff. That was wrong. Go, go like smoke weed and be like, oh, I don't know about this one, guys. Thank goodness. We finally done it. It's over. You know who else is in college? Who? 
Why did we even activate Levy? Just go to battle. Uh, we're styling. Jesse Cotton. Is he actually? Jesus. <laughs> I don't like hearing that. All right, that's game two, right? <laughs> Did we forget about this one? All right, you got to find a way to out this card. Okay, we did. <clears throat> so it's time for that all-imported game three. And okay, I feel like we're just going to do a little bit of bestial math here. And whoever bists the best wins. What the griffin doing? Did you know Jesse works full-time apparently too? That's literally impossible. That's not possible. He cannot be in school and working full time and going to the events he's going to and practicing as much as he is and assisting with Duel Night as much as he is. There is not a way. I don't believe it. No, I literally don't don't link me a tweet. You're lying. <clears throat> hmm. All right, right of Aramis here, here. And we're going to begin with a fateful adventure. Wow, it's like it's 2021 all over again. Oh my goodness, do you think they're going to normal summon a prank kid next? Whew, that's a good one. Down comes the Griffin Rider. Fire off the uh, fateful adventure. Grab ourselves a Drake back. Activate Pellerino. Okay, we've opened everything. Now we have to imagine that the dragon player probably has like a bestial, right? I mean, there's just no way. Adding Havness, by the way. Uh oh. We're going to go Sheeran pitch Havness here. Yeah. Oh, hit some nice ones there. And also Branded Beast. That was Water Enchantress and Murley and Havness. <clears throat> and is that no Bistials? Oh, no. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Rhino Heart back to deck for Kitkalos. And then what are we making? Garua here. Yes. All right, Kit Kolos coming down. We're going to activate the Kit Kolos. I imagine that's going to go grab us a Murley. We can go normal Murley or a special Murley off of the Kit Kolos effect, mill eight. What are we? Oh, wow, that's interesting. We're going to Pellerino here. Whoa. Okay, so the only one we haven't activated is Sheeran. It's adorable. We're going to grab Seliac. Not really sure that we're going to hit a Sheer in here, huh? Well, when you, you're you good, you're good. I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes you're just goaded with the sauce. Okay. Down comes Rukulos. Uh, we can set Celiac, and uh, this looks pretty good. I wish we had, like, one more guy. Just one more card. We could go grab um, Sprint as well. This board loses to Imperm evenly. True. Very true. End phase Dragon Dark says, "Wha? Take this." Okay. It's 
something in standby. They're thinking. Oh. CBT may be our only hope against the Ishizu Tierleman menace. Well, this is over. <laughs> Come on, Rebby. What if uh, Snow Lammy has um, a, a Havness? That would be something. That would be a card. <laughs> Collapse Serpent Banish Dragon Dark is a plus eight. Come on. It could still happen. What if the set card isn't Celiac but is like DD ground? Like that'd be crazy, right? It's actually Teak Boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should have flipped Teak Boo on their own standby to play around ball. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right. Uh let's get let's get snacking. Tier does have a Budora Keldo and Grave. I believe they have both. So they have two pops here. Yeah. Or just one pop rather. Obviously Pellerino's uh once per turn. All right, what are we doing here? All right, down comes uh, Thunder Dragon Hawk. We're going to bring back Dark here. Did you know that uh, Hawk's first name is Mike? Yeah, that's true. Okay, we have yet to not hit Nessie. So 100% on stream hit. Let's go. Uh, we whiffed it. It's over. It's over. Once the Saruya come down, it's over. Rebecca, I don't think that that even means anything. I think you're just typing. Literally just chatting. <laughs> It'll show something. I'll Google it now. The one card Link for is out, but they are not playing it. They're just playing Surya because it's a good card. Lubellion for Magnamut. Magnamut banish the last remaining good card in the graveyard. Win the game. Oh, man. Well, it's taken us a thousand years, but I think we are finally approaching the end of this match. So we get to Mudora to blank this, and then we can pop the Saruya. We've actually accidentally kind of walked ourselves into a position where uh, we might not be able to keep extending. What if we pop the Saruya and they go, okay, battle. <laughs> <clears throat>
All right, Sarnir here. We can target the Havness. Uh, we could Keldo to block that as well, if we want. I don't really even know what we do. All right, Lubellion gone. Magnemut whiffed. Pellerino new, f new chain. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Saria special. We'll grab out the Magnemut anyway. Activate Magnemut. See you at the end phase. Uh, so they got to figure out a way to beat um, the ball. Are we sure they didn't side in main deck raw to beat sphere mode? It doesn't even beat it. <laughs> it's so funny that they made the ball a card. It's just like exceptionally funny. They're thinking here. I wonder what sixes they're playing. It's just got to be Beatrice, right? Chat says M7. <laughs> M7 would be kind of killer here, not going to lie. Rebecca, you are having too much fun with this. <laughs> Chat demanding Atum. They are bleeding for Atum. Do they not have an out to the ball? What's going on? They're really thinking about it. I too am thinking about it. I can't imagine what they could possibly need. Ball in too hard. True, true, possibly. Atum it is. Okay, we're going to overlay for Atum. I love that this deck is playing this card. It is very funny. Atum effect. Any time for Brotar. Oh, that will do it. Brotar can pitch a card and go grab Levineer, and then we can Levineer this board away. Is that actually lethal? <clears throat> we can go Levineer plus those two. We can make another Saruya if we have one more extender, which we know we do because we have the Chaos Dragon. Two Saruya isn't lethal, though. We are going Keldo here. Oh, do we have enough Keldos to stop them from accessing a light in the dark? No. We can cut them off lights. Unless they, like, have any link to, which we know they do. They have dark. That's cute. Eat Saruya here. Seems like we were meant to eat Saruya a couple of stages ago. Regardless, we might actually not be dead here. And if we're not, you know, they're kind of out of resources. What a weird position that they have found themselves in. Hmm. 
We have finally uh, performed a link summon. We are going to dark. Do we have targets for this? We've used both of our shufflers this turn. We do not. We can make Chaos Dragon live in here now and pop the board, but like then we just attack for 1850, right? We even get to draw a card. Uh, we do get to... Oh, Garua is the fourth one. That's cute. Is this a hard once? It's got to be, right? Yeah. Oh, last card said again. It, it literally just too good is the problem. Legitimately too good. Oh, wow. Do we have a light? I don't think we do. This is 325, 1850. It's just a teensy weensy bit off, right? Not three, no three from the Garua. So this is If we go access leaving the uh, Garua up, is that lethal? It is, right? We know the set card is um Seliac. Man, this is a rough one. I mean, they're about to win, but this is like everything. Like, if anything happens here, they are boned. They gotta have access code. Oh, this looks like they have access code. Yep. Oh, oh, oh Lord Almighty. We've done it. After 10,000 years, dragons have just ever so slightly edged out tier limit and prevented the quadra tier sweep. CBT walking to a 2-1 victory. Wow, those games were extremely tight. Could have gone either way at pretty much any stage of the game. Here's where we see uh, Battle Fader. No. Oh my goodness. Well, folks, we are back with your top four. The November 2022 Chalice Slime Monthly is rapidly coming to a close. We have been through seven rounds of Swiss and two of Top Cut. Only two remain. And only one individual in this top four is not on Ishizu tier limit. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow, an entire person not on Ishizu tier limit. Yes. <laughs> They are on a deck that I am reticent to refer to as CBT, that's Chaos Bestial Thunder. It is a deck that absolutely exists to take advantage of the fact that Tier Element is going to mill you a whole bunch of times, sending a bunch of cards like the Bestial Lubellion and of course the Thunder Dragon Monsters to the graveyard before banishing them with powerful cards like the said Retrain and Chaos Dragon Levianir to plus two infinity. It's also got a ton of ability to contest Tier Limit because it's playing like 12 main deck bestials. I'm going to let them know uh, that they are ready to go. And we will see if we can have a non-mirror for finals. Fingers crossed, but they're not that crossed because I'm also a realist. <laughs> is Fuji still in? Asks Gage. I am happy to report that Fuji is still live. All right, so shockingly very little is determined by the die roll here. Um, because it's all but guaranteed that the dragon player is going to find some number of bestials in the opening hand, uh, we're just going to play on both players' turns no matter what. And we've seen a ton of decks that just exist to do exactly this. And I got to tell you, it feels good. It's just nice to look at a format and be like, oh yeah, we're just going to keep playing on your turn. No big deal. <clears throat> All right, Instant Fusion coming down here. Uh, we're going to get a copy of Kit Kalos. Kit Kalos is going to fire here. And 
啊啊啊啊！我 grab a copy of Rhino Heart. Oh God! So we already have everything, huh? All right, some person's gonna fire off the Kitkalos, uh, send it to the graveyard. Likely summon the Rhino Heart, and then we're gonna mill five. All right, chat, don't get it twisted. If you gamble, you will lose. You will enter a terrible party. Oh, never mind. Gamble all day. What the hell is foolish burial goods in here for? All right, we've got Havnus and we've got Sheeran in the graveyard. We've got Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart can send absolutely anything. We're going to use it to send a Murley. Afterwards, we're going to start a very fun chain. Now, I wonder if you actually just, like, fire them all here. Obviously, you want to, like, retain one of them for later in the turn. Usually, the Murleys, so you can, like, maybe go from a uh, an elf into a sprint into send it. But, uh, I mean, you've got to be imagining that some number of these are going to be stopped by Bistials. Just going for the two says, whatever, I'll hedge my bets. And uh, we'll be able to go into a Rukulos, which immediately contests any Bistials. Really good news for some person, followed by a Murley. That Murley is going to be able to cycle for... Oh my god, do we have the material to make a really, really early? We do Kaleido Heart. I, I don't think it's the play. Likely we're going to be seeing a Garua here. Yeah. Um, these two to the graveyard, and we will go for our fun little bird woman. Another important hit off of that five was the shufflers. Really, really good. Chad asking uh, what decks we have in the top four. All right, ready? Now, I'm only going to say this once, so be careful. It's Tier Lament, Tier Lament, Tier Lament, Chaos Bestial Thunder. All right, we're going to get to uh, Beatrice through a little bit of an unconventional way. Tribute summoning a uh, Bestial, but you do what you have to. We're going to detach the Garua here in order to send from deck to graveyard. Oh, I don't know. Really anything. Uh, we can get to a uh, Dragostopelia if we so desire. Ooh, love the Scream Send, though. This is going to allow us to get access to a Suliak or a Crime way early. And, of course, we're also going to be able to draw off of that Garua as well. That's really sick. What a cool play. All right, we're going to set one. Do we have the crime as well? Ooh, set two pass. Set three pass. Okay, now I'm confused. How would you set three? All right, end step, we're going to go for a uh, Thunder Dragon Dark. Grab another one, draw for turn. This is a great position for the Dragon State to be in. We've seen it a lot of times. The first thing they do is Bestial, target the Thunder Dragon, darken the graveyard, and plus two. Here, of course, it's contested by the Rukulos, but who knows? Chaos Space, a really interesting card to start with. I wonder if that's worth a crime. Probably not, but we'll see. Yeah, letting that resolve here. Uh, gonna get one of the Chaos Dragons. The Chaos Dragons have been just unbelievable over the course of this weekend. Um, White Dragon, Wyvern Burster, and Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. It shocks me to know that these are still three in Master Duel. Uh, we are... Oh, we're gonna proactively Keldo here. That is super cute. Shuffling back the entire graveyard here, including the Chaos Space, said, No, no, no. You want to get to a uh, a light or a dark monster, you're going to have to do it the hard way, and that is the hard way. Uh, Solar here... Solar here is kind of weird, right? Because Suliak contests it really well, and then it's a light, which means the White Dragon Wyvern Burster isn't going to be able to banish it for its effect. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Even if we find a way to get to this to the graveyard, we've got to do something else if we actually want to accomplish something here. Nope, Danger Nessie is something else. Okay. This is a pretty risky Danger Nessie. We could hit the Collapse Serpent, and we do! Oh, no! Okay, Nessie comes down. Um, dollars to Donuts, we've got a Bistial in that hand now. I mean, we've been through, like, seven cards, and we haven't seen one of the 9 to 12. And, yep, there it is, Lubellion coming down. We'll go ahead and uh, use that in order to grab a Magnamoot, and we'll just see what we can do from this position. I do still have the Beatrice live. I don't know what the other sets are. I imagine if it was called by, you would have fired it on the Lubellion. We haven't really had a really good crime yet. And if we had an infip, you almost feel like you would have reserved the Suliak for something better. So it's crime plus something else. You gotta ask yourself, what spells does it actually play? Gonna go for Magnamut, targeting uh, our own Chaos Dragon uh, Wyver Burster. Sheesh, I wonder if you actually just let that happen. Mm. 
No, you do not. Feeling confident with the Magnemite here because there was no uh, bestial use on our turn. You can kind of get the read that they don't have very many. Magnema triggering here is going to grab from deck to hand at end phase another bestial. God, the bestials are just so bonkers, this format. All right, there's Dark. Uh, do we even have a target? We do. We have Garua. We're going to Dark targeting Garua here. Grab that back. And maybe if we have something crazy that we want into the graveyard, we can like Nightmare Unicorn our way out of this. All right, going to battle phase here, just trying to get more material in the hand for the uh, for the dark. I think that's completely fine. In fact, it, it maybe was a bit of a misplay not to summon the Bagnamut in defense position, just to prevent this exact thing from happening. It feels like without the dark search, they're just out of it, out of it. But now they can probably grab a bestial overlay for a six. Yeah, and it's happening during damage as well. Oh, Brotar in the hand. Well, that explains it. We're going to use Dark here to get Chaos Dragon Levian here. We've seen that so much this weekend. And then Brotar, Brotar target itself. What are we pitching? Targeting the Magnemut, actually. Uh, we'll send a Destrudo. Oh, sheesh. The whole hand is extenders. Well, the whole deck is extenders, so it's not that big of a surprise, but sh still, that's a lot. That is a lot. Right, Drew Swarm coming down, and... And now we've got access to a six as well as uh, Chaos Dragon Levian here to maybe clear out the back row before we actually go for it. That said, we haven't have I don't think we've activated the effect of Rukalos yet. That could contest the Druis Worm. So they have to like lead Chaos Dragon Levianir, which is fine. I wonder if you like are supposed to shotgun Beatrice there and then go for like a Mudora in order to like blank all the lights. Now, this is the position where the third card being an infinite in permanence would just be the end of the game. There's the crime. Unsurprising there. Card in hand is a Mudora. Oh. Well, that explains it. Uh, feeling pretty safe being like, okay, we'll just crime the first effect that happens and then we can Mudora shuffle back the Destrudo. Wow, that's incredible. That's really something. Well, now we know everything, and there is no way that the CBT player gets out of this. <laughs> going pisty here. Says, yeah, how about that, huh? Yeah? And we're going to go for Destrudo here, uh, targeting the Garua. Uh, I mean, might as well Mudora, I feel like. Oh, they're letting it resolve even. Come on. No need. No need. Spheres pass, you know. And that's the end of the turn. I guess we'll Beatrice here at end step, right? Go grab something. Uh, what do we have? Don't have much material. Uh, we could go into Kitkalos again. That seems crazy. Merly here, activate Merly effect. Uh, they do get to fire off their Druus Worm. I think you're kind of okay with that, right? Because you're resolving your Magnemut, and that means they won't be able to contest your Druus Worm on the back. Go Rukalos here. That'll negate that. I mean, yeah, I mean, why not, you know? Uh, Celiac. Celiac is going to grab a tier element from the deck to the hand as well. And then you can... Oh, wow. We're coming Kaleido now? 
or Ming Dragus to Pelia. Wow. This is a sick line. Um, we resolve our Magnemut as well. Go grab Druus Worm. Yeah. And that's that. So this card is annoying, at least, but I don't think it's remotely sufficient. Normal summon Merly, if you insist. <clears throat> Mill three. We hit a shuffler. Wow, that was really funny. Magnumut, Magnumut, shuffler. Uh, we can, like, go Beatrice Merly into Sprind, Sprinson, Merly, Merly make... We're actually one monster off of Kaleido, but we can just make Rukulos again. Going battle here? Hmm, that's interesting. Why not switch the Beatrice to attack, at least? I think they're going to go Beatrice here. Is the set card called by and we just sat on it forever? Oh, that's funny. Um, I don't think it does anything, right? Huh. That's really weird. I wonder why they did that. <laughs> does that work? No. Right? Oh, it does. Does it? I feel like it doesn't say tributed to the graveyard, but it did change positions from where it was going to activate. Oh, that's cute. All right, well, you learn something new every day. All right, Magnemut activates here. Uh, we'll go to the battle phase still. Again, the Beatrice and Attack would have done something pretty crazy here. Grab the Garua. Uh, do we get to draw a card here, even? Hilarious. Legitimate comedy. Uh, second main. Sprint time. They do have a Lubellion engrave. It's not like over, over. Going Elf here. Elf can bring back Merly. Go Sprint here. <clears throat> Sprint can send Merly. Merly effect. Go what? Merly, Merly, Kaleido. Or Rhino. I guess we can keep going, right? Nothing says we have to stop. We can go uh, Kitkalos here. Kitkalos send. Yeah, that seems pretty crazy. Kitkalos... We could chain the Mudora to add Suliac. Or we're just playing two Suliac. That could happen too. Kikolo second effect. Do we have a name in hand? Is that what's going on here? We do. It's Rhino Heart. That's unbelievable. <coughs> Kit close two. Rhino one. One, two, three, four, five. We hit Sheeran and Havness and Rhino and Murley. What is the Sprint Co-Link bonus effect? Uh, your opponent cannot win. Go Sheeran for Rukulos, Havnus for Kaleido Heart. Oh, wow. I hate the Ishizu cards. The Ishizu, the, I will say this. We've seen like one Kelbeck activated this weekend. We've seen zero Agito. The, the cards that have mattered are Keldo and Mudora. All right, new chain Kaleido Heart. Get that boy out of there. It's 
Set one. <laughs> it's the Sullyak. Back to good luck, friend. Good luck. They get Lubellion. I believe we get one too, right? No, we don't. All right, Dragon Saint says. Shush, 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 bah, 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 bah. Let's just go next. All right, uh, predictions up. One minute. <coughs> Dragon Saint uh, did lose the first game last best of three as well. That's very possible. He is able to mount a comeback for a second time. I'm just saying. How's uh, how's the other match going? Do you know, Rebecca? Do you have any any insight for us? <laughs> Tier Lament is winning. That's crazy, dog. <coughs> That's unbelievable. Oh, cool. We're all making the same joke. Excellent. All right. This time, CBT going first. <laughs> Excellent. Really, really fantastic. Oh, my God. How people play this deck. Joseph, how do you feel about CBT? Would you call yourself a CBT enjoyer? I actually don't really like this list. I <laughs> I, I remember like brainstorming something similar where I was like, yeah, if we can like ensure that we're always hitting a Shizu tier, something like this would be crazy. Um, I actually don't love it too much. I, I think it's only okay. Uh, sorry um, to anyone who was uh, excited by the possibility of that <laughs> uh, <clears throat> can we call it btc why would we call it that you got a reason you got a good reason bitcoin of course we can i would love to do that It's just so funny. All right, so uh, we're getting into Bestial Wars already. Wow, Starly Schaefer, we have not seen yet. Just kind of assumed they weren't on it. Because it's going to the moon? Thank you. Ugh, I imagine I have to think about this one pretty hard. This is like a pretty... It's a pretty sussy baka. They just really deep in the tank on this one. I mean, you've, you've got a lot of different ways to execute your combos here. And the thing about this deck is like, you're always kind of hedging against the possibility that whatever you do, it might just be better to like summon a fourth guy and then just like go Saruya and like refresh your hand. Like that's just always sort of in the back of your mind. So who knows? <clears throat> I know. All right, spheres pass. It's good enough for the goose. The ancient FTK. I don't think this is like the pass. Like we're probably still doing a little bit of stuff. Bestial Lubellion here. Get the line online. The line. 
It's the line. Magnumut. We've got two sixes. That's something. It's not nothing, I'll say. Is it something? Yeah. Is it nothing? No. It's not nothing. It's something. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Man. I got to tell you, the, the card that I've been the most impressed with in this list is, uh, is Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. It's just like, it's been unbelievable every single time we've seen it. It's truly shocking. The deck just keeps going. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. All right, so we're, we're still going to be able to get to Branded Regained. And what I imagine is uh, Branded Beast. Going to the end step, we do get to resolve Magnumut here. I mean, it's not terrible. So the way you're out this board is going to depend on a lot of stuff. Um, what you boarded into, obviously, is extremely important. I imagine probably your board is not super developed for a deck like this, right? Like, they have back row that matters. Spheres is, like, a really weird card to have to deal with. Um, the Mascarena is maybe going to go into an Apo. We go, like... Uh, target one of your cards in the graveyard with a, with a Bistial and then Mascarena for Apollosa. I don't know. It's a hard one for sure. It's a difficult one to process. All right, well, we're going for that. Down comes... Truest Worm, we get to regain here, cycle back the Striker Dragon and draw a card, IP at resolution. That's going to enable us to make an Apo. Oh, that's a good one. Lightning Storm, wow, weird. We've got the Magnum on field already, that's swacky. Is it the only one we're doing or are we doing two? Looks like that's the only one. I wonder what we negate here. Yeah, the Mascarena. <clears throat> Are we trying to force battle here? Like walk into the seals, force battle? Yeah. So this one's kind of hard, right? Like, you have to make the decision, are we going for the uh, Omni Dragon Brotar and potentially losing to something like an Evenly or a Lightning Storm in Main Phase 2, especially having seen that they're boarding into at least Lightning Storm? Or do we just, like, take the 25? Alternatively, you could, like, bounce one of your Bestials. Drew Swarm target. Okay, well, now, now you know that they're not going to evenly matched you there's really not a good return here unfortunately yeah going for the uh 
for the Mask Arena. I get to regain here. That's annoying. Trigger regained. Go to combat. We can clean all the monsters if we're the tier player, which is probably good enough. Uh -huh. Or we can decide not to. FB goods. FB goods. Wow. What are we sending? Celiac? We're getting Celiac. Okay. And there's Branded Beast. Uh, we're going to send the Druus Worm, pop the Magnumut Druus Worm for the Druus Worm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Heartbeat! Oh, Heartbeat here is so crazy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Heartbeat is going to get rid of the uh, Branded Beast here. We're going to pitch the Sullyak. Then at resolution, we can trigger the Sullyak to go get Rhino Heart. All right, there. This this was the genius level play. This was the quadrenius level play. <laughs> That's so funny. Haveness. Oh, we already have what we need. New chain. Let's go for the Druus Worm. I guess we can eat the said pendulum. That's like kind of funny. Magnumut here. All right. Sure. Sheeran. Last card in hand, Sheeran. Whoa. Whoa, we hit everything. Oh, we hit literally every name there. That was every single name in sequence. Oh, Lord Almighty. Wait, so you're telling me... That play only worked if uh, the CBT player played exactly like that. There was no other world in which that play worked because we would be caught with a trap in hand in Sheeran. They, they legitimately were like, yeah, I'm playing both sides of the table. Sarni are coming down on one of these. We just activated four effects, dog. We're going to get what we want. Wow. That's unbelievable. It's over? I don't think it's remotely over. I mean, I think the tier player is in a good position right now, but I think that the bestial player is about to add a card to their hand and draw their fifth. All right, so we get to get Mud Dragon here, too. Uh, what are we sending off this? We could grab Celiac. I wonder what we even do here. This is a hard one. We can grab... Yeah, we can grab Celiac and then, like... Do we have a name engraved still? We don't. We could, like, overlay Mud Dragon. Oh, we're just doing dark stuff. It says, give, give me the Magnemut. We're gonna make... We're gonna make a Beatrice... <clears throat> Said, okay, this Magnemite is activated once this turn, but uh, not on your side. All right, Beatrice, that time we overlay wrong. these two bad boys. And then we haven't activated Rhino, or are there any we haven't activated? Did we hit Sheeran yet? That was wrong. If we didn't, we could go Rhino, pitch Celiac, Sheeran, add Halfness. No, we already we already Celiac this turn though. We did scream this turn. We screamed for uh, for the first Celiac. Sending a lightning storm says it doesn't matter. Is <laughs> oh man. Yeah, no, this is a tough one. This is a really sick turn for the uh, the tier element player, but. I mean, it's still a huge, huge uphill climb. Kit, how are we kidding? What do we have? Oh, did we we sent the shear in there? Oh, okay. So we're cycling for the shear in to try and hit like some shufflers or something, like a Kelbeck and a Guido. Oh, that was shear in. <laughs> so we have activated shear in this turn. Okay. 
Wow, that's that's embarrassingly bad luck at the end there. Not even a Rhino Heart to keep the Kaleido online. So we're going to resolve two Magnemuts. Uh, we're going to go get uh, Druus Worm into Druus Worm. I guess they could get Lubellion here. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the hinge point for the CBT player. Could happen. Lubellion comes down. That's one. There is Druus Worm. God, it is impossible to overstate how much the Bestials are doing this format. Lubellion. Saranir. We get to send a second Lubellion. Grab Pizza Hut, right? This is probably worth the Celiac, yeah. Celiac, target the Lubellion. That's going to send the Sheeran. Negate the Lubellion. New chain Sheeran. Our opponent, Druus Worms. We chain Druus Worm? I don't know. Do we even? Do we just want it out of their hand? Yeah, okay. And Magnum up coming down. We did have the third. That's, whoa, that's rough. And I wonder why we didn't Beatrice for an Ashizu name. Like, if we were just going to send a dead card because we had all the names that turn, we should have just sent, like, a Mudora. Do we know the CBT player has Sarnir? No, we saw it, actually. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who said they didn't see the Thundra? There it is. Thunder Dragon Dark. <laughs> oh, wow. This is such an explosive turn. Egads, my roast is ruined. Dragon Dark jump scare. Very true, very true. He's back, back again. Guess who's back? Tell a friend. <laughs> we're we're just like, all right, we're just doing it. <laughs> we're let's uh clean this one up. Oh, targeting the um the dark here. That's interesting. Do we have a free special here we can use to make a uh, access code? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I wonder why they went for the dark there. They must already have another name in hand. We haven't activated Sarnier's hand effect yet, have we, this turn? That's the only scenario I could see not doing that. Yeah, Beatrice on the uh, open game state here. We're going to try and send a name. Just any name. Don't want Dark to search. What's Dark going to search? Havness? We do have the Sarnir. Wow. That's killer. That'll do it then. <clears throat> wow, we just had all three names, huh? Shoot. Uh, we can use access code here to pop the Beatrice, and then that's just hop, skip, and a jump, huh? Oh, man, we're really going to game three. 
Oh, we're really going to game three here once again, ladies and gentlemen. That's insane. Bada bing. Bada boom. Maybe. Anytime. A oh, big day to be CBT. Wham. And it's time for that all-important game three. Wow, did not think we would get here. This is horrifying. Huge day for guys who type Colo Sus in Farfa's chat. True. True. All right. Who is going first? Some person. Man, still on that foolish burial goods. That is just such a strange one. I guess the concept is like if you're missing a trap, you can grab Suliak. And if you're missing a, a monster, you can grab any of them. That's like... It's like cute. It just seems a little bricky. And also like you're going to hit them naturally anyway. Saranir here. It's an interesting name to hit. Did get a Keldo. Did get a Keldo. Will Fuji get the three-peat? I don't know. He's in the other match. All right. Normal summon Rhino Heart. Pretty good normal here. We can use that to go send anything, really. Haveness, haveness effect. All right, show us the best deals. Nope. All right, Kid Kalos down. We are going to go... Grab the Suliac. Oh, do we have the Murley already? Wow, this is a very strange hand. We opened Rhino, Murley, Sheeran. This is a very strange hand. What the hell are we doing? What the hell are you two doing? Oh my good lord. Good lord, what is happening in there? Oh no. This is a very strange hand. The last card in hand is Celiac, so everything is known information. We go Beatrice here. We go Beatrice, send Murley. Then we don't activate Murley. Ugh. I mean, it, it does do what you want. You go Murley here. You hit any name that isn't Murley off the eight deep Kid Kalos chain. And then you uh, link the Murley and the Rhino Heart off for elf and then you have elf celiac that's like i mean it's good it's just um it's horrifying oh we got some shufflers and we got some finally we got a kelbeck for god's sake it felt like <laughs> going through all these games we couldn't get a fucking kelbeck all right we're gonna go for heartbeat at least to grab back crime that's insane that's unbelievable well now this line looks really good um, but we missed every name. I almost wanted to use Kelbeck there to get, like, a Havness, so we could at least also end on Rukalos. Like, as is, we're... Ugh. They can sprint for Murley. Yeah, if they want to not go into Elf, they can sprint for Murley, but I, I want to go for Elf. Hmm... Playing around ball. Playing around ball would mean you activate Kelbeck, because then you would have Rukalos, Beatrice, Elf, Murley. And they have to eliminate all of those. Here, they're going to go Elf. Oh, they are playing around ball. 
I was like, here they're going to go elf, get Merle, and that's three. Or they don't do that. Well, sometimes you play around the ball and you get the dick. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, Jesus. What a disaster. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, um, any starter wins the game here. We know the set card is Crime Sullyek. We know the card in hand is Magnemut. Or maybe everyone fucking sucks in this game. <laughs> no, we got, we got, we got dangers. Who? Show me the chaos dragon here. Oh, yep, that'll do it. That will do it. Oh my god, CBT is gonna go to finals. Holy shit. That's that's it. That's legitimately it. All right, we go Lubellion here. Uh, all we have to do is contest the Magnemot, which shouldn't be too difficult. We're going to move Dora here. What, target the whole graveyard? Ugh, it's rough. They have one too many. Yeah, we are going to go for the Chaos Space here. I almost want to just go for everything, everything, but... I guess keeping the pendulum in grave is a little too tantalizing, right? It's like a really great place for it to be. We're going to lava golem beat down our way out of this, buddy. We are going to lava golem beat down our way out of this. I've done it before and I'll do it again. There's Magnemot. Alright, I mean... I guess we're doing dueling Magnemots. Whoever activates their Magnemot first loses. Wait, did we have a second bestial the whole time? We just held it the entire turn because we knew that the turn was going to suck and they were going to have to lava golem? Yeah, I mean, we have to... Oh, it says, no, 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 no. We're not playing this little game where you uh, magnum up my uh, Kit Kalos and then I banish my Kit Kalos. You're not tricking me into that. I'm putting it back into the deck. I'm going to win the Magnum up war one way or another. Jackalope. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Huh? Oh, killer hit. <coughs> Did we find a normal? Does not look like it. We go dark target. What the Magnum or something. We chain our Magnum targeting the target. Then it is just a question of what the hand looks like. Sorry, normal here means uh, the Chaos Dragons. <laughs> are they even playing normals? They are. We saw Safer. Okay, we go dark into the Lava Golem, and then we grab what? Chisinoko. <laughs> have solar as well. You're right, they do have solar. We can't get solar because we can't normal the solar. <coughs> Could go get Levy in here. If you Levy in here from this position, you are losing the fucking game. <laughs> Okay, we're taking a thousand. All right, here's the question. Did we find a tier limit? Murley does it. Oh! We found a tier limit, all right. Oh! <laughs> we found a tier limit. Holy shit. All right.
Rhino Heart. Assemble! We send what? Havness here? I don't think it matters. Havness, show us a bestial or you are dead. Ooh, not good, folks. Kitkalos, all we got to do is climb to Rhino Heart over the course of the turn, and we have got it. I, I cannot believe that some person is walking out of this game. This was a frightening third game from the Lava Golem to the end of it. Oh, we're even popping. <laughs> I don't even know if you pop it. What if they have Brotar in hand? That's happened like two or three times. Did Fuji win their round? No, he just never loses the mirror. <laughs> oh, we're criming the dark. Unnecessary. You don't need to do this. Merly here. Yeah, it's uh, it's over. <laughs> we go Garua. Oh, we're just making Rukulos. <coughs> Says, yeah, the only way I lose this one is if you have a bestial I don't know about. To combat. Oh my god, and some person does it. We have the Ashizu Tier Lament Finals. Woo! All right. Great job, everybody. Uh, wonderful format. I, I like it very much. Um, whoo, boy, oh boy. I gotta say, CBT put up a good fight. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I, I'm a little too vanilla. That was, that was some game. Well, folks, it is time for the finals of the November 2022 Chalice Line Monthly, I'm your host, Joseph Rothschild, and I am so excited to be casting, after seven rounds of Swiss, three rounds of Top Cut, the one, the only, Ishizu Tier Lament Mirror. Now, the story about this tournament isn't the decks. We all know the decks. Or should I say, deck. The story is in the duelists because Mount Fuji for the third consecutive Chalice Lime Monthly has made it into finals. Let's see if he can get the three-peat setting Chalice Lime Monthly history as the only individual to ever do that shit. Uh, two people have won two in a row and he is one of them. Mount Fuji has won the die roll and begun with Keldo pitching Mudora. Oh, it's just so beautiful already. Grabbing another Keldo. And instant fusion as well. Sometimes you just really want it. Sometimes you're just better than everyone else. We're going to go Kikolos here. We're going to use the effect of Kikolos. And ooh, Chain Havness. Well, that's not too big of a deal with Mudora in the graveyard. But let's see what we get. Uh, Druisworm, Worm, Merly, Rhino Heart. Three good ones. Oh, we're really thinking about this one. One thing I've learned about Fuji is he's not afraid to take his time. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a sensual art. And sometimes you gotta go low and slow. Instead of fast and ass. <laughs> what I'm saying? Woof! <laughs> Chat says, good for him. Consider me aroused. All right, looks like we're going to fire off what appears to be every single effect in the graveyard. And I imagine that's going to be met with a Mudora or even the on-field Keldo. Yeah, going for the Mudora here. It says, up, 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 uh, calm down, we're not doing that. And putting back the instant fusion as well says, you know what, I may need this one later. All right, a resolution. We're going to go ahead and get that Kit Kalos ad, and then we'll fire off the Kit Kalos. It's time to do the Yoinky Sploinky. Have you seen this combo before? The Kit Kalos to the graveyard, the Merly to the field, and then eight cards off the top of the deck. Here we go. Chain Link 1, Kit Kalos, Chain Link 2, Merly, or vice versa, <laughs> whichever you prefer. And let's see what we hit. Do not get it twisted. Oh, maybe you should be getting it twisted. My lord. A lot going on here. Uh, Sullyak, Havness, Heartbeat, Kelbeck. 
All right, so a question about if they want to do Kelbeck. Probably not in the mirror, even though we have the Keldo on field. Uh, but the Havnis looking good. The Seliak looking good. And the Heartbeat even looking good as well. You know, it's actually maybe worth Kelbecking just because your opponents already used two names. Like, how many more names could they seriously get? <laughs> Looks like he's going to shy away from it. We're going to go uh, Seliak to hand off the effect of the Heartbeat. Uh, we are going to grab that Rhino Heart off the effect of the Seliak. We have not yet performed our normal summon, and we're going to start fusing. I imagine we're going to go Havnus and Kitkalos into Rukalos, and then we are pretty much free to do whatever we want. All right, so we have access to Sprind, should we so desire it. Uh, we could also, like, normal uh, the Rhino Heart, the Rhino Heart and the Havness and the Merly into Kaleido. That seems kind of sussy. I think more than anything else, we want to normal the Rhino and get into a situation where we have access to Abyss Dweller. So it might be as simple as normaling Rhino. Can Rhino send any card or just monsters? Let's read real quick. Monster only. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go Sheeran here. We can go Sheeran and Havnus for, like, Garua. Then we can go Garua and the Merly into Elf. And then the Rhino Heart and the Keldo into Abyss Dweller. That seems kind of crazy with the Celiac backup, even. Oh, wow. That's interesting. <coughs> It says, forget that, we're making Kaleido. <laughs> we can go Rhino Heart and Merly into a uh, Sprint in order to make Kaleido and Abyss Dweller. That's not bad. So here's a little fun bit of information you may not know. Um, Mud Dragon of the Swamp, very good card. You know, it's powerful, it's strong. Uh, another thing that it is, Reciprocal. No one can target monsters with this attribute on the field, so it prevents your opponent from doing the Kit Kalos Yoinky Spoinky. It's very funny. Uh, we're going to go for uh, Merly here. As expected. Uh, we could make Dragus Depelio. We could make Kaleido Heart. I think I like the latter. Yeah, looks like we are jumping into the uh, Kaleido Heart here. We can use it to shuffle back the uh, Havness. And then, hey, we've got a couple of fours on the field. I mean... And if you want to go into Abyss Dweller, I'm okay with it. Wow. <laughs> That's a board. That is a board. Three cards in hand also. Uh, set card Celiac expectedly. If there's a second, it's probably Crime. Three cards in hand. You have to imagine that there's going to be a Havness in there. All right. We're going to go for the uh, Abyss Dweller as soon as possible. Did we open the one of? No, but we opened the Havness. Uh, that's fine. Havness as a response to Abyss Dweller? You got it, buddy. Oh, well, okay, now it makes sense. Oh, you gotta do what you gotta do in these trying times. Um, something has to be able to contest that rank 4 monstrosity. Uh, hit 3 off the Havness, including a Mudora. Merly Mudora, okay. So it looks like the only thing that was negated here was the Abyss Dweller, which means we retain the Rukalos negate. That is not insubstantial. Unfortunately, hitting a Shuffler here means that if we go for any of the names, we'll probably have to use the Shuffler rather than the Rukalos, just because uh, then it gives our opponent on open game state the chance to contest our Keldo with Mudora. Looks like we're moving to open anyway. Hmm. I mean, outside of evenly matched, I really don't know what does this. Scream is not a bad card, but it's not enough. We are going to go for the um for the early Mudora here. <coughs> Telegraphing that whatever is in their hand, it is normal summonable, and they have to hit it. So we're going to move Dora targeting, what do we have, Keldo, just Keldo. All right.
chaining the Keldo. Uh, hmm. We probably want to put the Paralino back. The Heartbeat, I imagine, is not at three in the main. So good to have that still in the main as like a flexible search for later. Uh, I think you probably want to put your opponent's Rhino Heart back so they can't easily access Kaleido Heart. It's a thinker for sure. The only things that make sense here are if the last card is... Oh, it looks like we're putting back our Druis Worm, actually. Man, Fuji's on another level. I can't keep up. Um, the only things that make sense in the hand for this play are like Paralino, Rhino Heart, or Murley. So I guess we'll have to see which one it is. But any of the following two just lose to the Sullyek, I feel like. Yeah, it's Murley. So we go Murley 1, Scream 2. Scream is going to ensure that we get to mill some, even in the face of a Sullyek. I wonder if we go for the Sullyek anyway, or we just wait for the um, the Kit Kalos. So you have to hit... If you Sullyek here, they have to hit two names, which is, like, not going to happen. Three cards, two names. He says, I'm going to let it all go. A bunch of shufflers and a Kelbeck, but no names. Ooh, that is rough. Best option here is Kelbeck? Ooh. <clears throat> Not good. Yeah, you, I don't think you have an option. Yeah, you have to fire Kelbeck. You just lose. Like, Sprint is immediately contested by Rukulos. Or Sullyek. I mean, everything. All right, let's see it. How? Dog. How? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we get to go Sullyek, Sullyek, Heartbeat here. Heartbeat at least grabs the Sullyek, and Sullyek at least grabs a name. You can get, like, a Havness for next turn, but 13 cards in the graveyard, and we didn't hit anything past the original Havness? That's unbelievable. Inversely, <laughs> Fuji just hit Crime Sheeran Rhino Heart. Oh. And because one was sent to the graveyard, we do get to proc the Kaleido as well. It says, you are not going to get to spin this turn. It's not going to happen. Oh my goodness gracious. It says, you're not even getting the dark. All right. Don't get excited. I'm going to Keldo uh, try and banish or uh, shuffle all these cards. That's completely fine. <coughs> hmm. Wow. Ah, skill issue, man. I don't know what to tell you. Skill issue. Yep. We get the Sullyek back, but we have no mechanism by which to make it happen. Oh, we have a Sheeran! What the hell? I missed we had a banished Sheeran! Okay, we could still Sheeran now! Why did we do that? Uh, I, wow, okay. Unreal. That's impossible. There's no way. There's literally no way. <laughs> the rest of the deck has got to be names. The rest of the deck has got to be names. Oh my goodness. We need to eat Sprind or Abyss Dweller, which is something. I'm just dead on the crackback. We know they have Havness. At least it's all hits now. True. That's what you get for playing goods. I guess it is. You know, I guess it is. Get it twisted. <clears throat> get it twisted. Looks like we are just about to set one and pass it back. Oh, okay. We know that's Celiac. That was wrong. Uh, this uh, this seems pretty over. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go. Sheer in here. Uh, send anything. Mill everything. 
Havnis, Keldo. With Keldo and Grave, this is over. There's there's nothing they can do. Kaleido Heart. You can even target the Sullyek with the Kaleido Heart. <laughs> that, that would be pretty mean. Scream here. That's something, right? And Sullyek CL4, send the Sheeran. But this is all going to resolve in the same chain, which means that we will have the... Uh, The Keldo online. Yep, that's three names, and it does not matter. I mean, it would have to be three names. I mean, think how how few we've seen so far. <clears throat> Rukalos, Murley, Havnis, Keldo, game two. Ooh, wow. I will say credit to some person. I've never seen a tier limit player brick in this way. Like that is just a comical amount of lost mills. There's Rukulos. And we'll just switch everything to attack position. That's got to be lethal, right? Even with the scream decrease. <clears throat> yup. A quick game one out of Mount Fuji. And we are going to be going to game two. Can some person bring it back and prevent the sweep? Or will Fuji coast to a third consecutive Chalice Slime monthly title? Woof. <laughs> MBT is right. This is a high skill format, but I do wish that CBT was in finals. Hey, we can't we can't all have CBT. Is DB Grinder at in Colombia right now? He just won another Speed Duel Giant card. Oh, I'm checking out the uh, the top eight from uh from the Invitational. Farfa didn't make it. Ah, oh. oh, Pikami did though. Pikami sweep. Let's go. All right, some person starting off a little more powerful now. We've got the Paralino. We're going to go for the Paralino. Activate the effect. Grab from deck to hand. You guessed it. A hey, Merly. <clears throat> Sheeran effect. We're going to pitch this Merly from hand. We're going to summon the Sheeran. We're going to mill three. And then we're going to fire off the Scream as well. Up! Normal summon Merly. Activate Merly. Okay, there we go. Now we're milling. Now we didn't mill any names, but we did mill Mudora and Keldo. This is going to be one of those sprints, if you know what I'm saying. I guess we could, like... No, nah, that's, that's just make sprint. <laughs> I'm, like, talking myself into the worst play ever. All right, sprint effect. We'll send uh, Merly. Merly effect. We can go into Kitkalos and... Oh! Usually, this would not be the end of the turn. But that is... <laughs> that is one big Sarenir. Oh, that's an enormous Sarenir. Folks... <laughs> Careful with your foolish burial goods. That's all I gotta say. Oh, no. <laughs> no! Not like this! Okay, okay, okay. It's actually not like this. So we have two shufflers in the graveyard. Those can potentially, like, contest everything Mount Fuji does, right? <laughs> but it's gonna be a little difficult now. 
terraforming for a Pellerino. You know, it is shocking. I don't think I've seen Fuji ever lose the mirror. <laughs> All right, Pellerino comes out and Heartbeat the set card. Okay, all right. If the card sent from hand to graveyard is a tier, we are very much in this. That is not a tier. That is, I mean, technically it's a tier, but uh, we, we ain't got no Havness in here. It's not really what we're looking for. <clears throat> now we got Havness. Okay. We've got some play to it. Normal Merly. Effect. Ah, it's one of these hands for both players, I see. All right, three here. Let's see what we got. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, God, that's every name. Oh, God, we we hit two shufflers. Two shufflers. You're kidding me. He just wants it more. How do I How do I explain it to you better than this? He just wants it more. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> we get to shuffle the targets and the shufflers. <laughs> oh, wow. That is really something. Now, the downside is we may be screwed here because we need a way to get this Merle into the graveyard. And the way to do that would be like we have another guy and we link off for a sprint. But if we shuffle back their tier elements, they're going to be able to go Paralino and they can eat the Sauronir. And if they do that, uh, maybe we just don't have the material for a sprint. We would need like Sheeran or any Bestial or two fairies like Keldo Mudora in hand. So like eight, nine cards do it. Uh, we're just, we're just swoosing back and forth. Um, I don't even know why you Mudora here, right? Because... He's just going to chain Keldo. <laughs> Fuji's thinking about it. Hmm. Interesting ones. Very interesting ones. He is going to go Keldo. Says we're going to grab. I bet you probably want everything in your graveyard too. Can we cut them entirely off of tears? I think we can. One, two, Havness, Sheeran, Keldo. We, if we go Merly, uh, Rhino Heart, Druis Worm here, there's two Druis Worms, but Merly, Rhino Heart here, we can cut them all the way off of Tears. And then if they Paralino, they can't even pop their own Havness to go off, right? <clears throat> hard call because we don't know the card in hand like if the card in hand is a tier it doesn't matter oh it's actually not a hard call at all because we know they're adding off of uh crime oh my goodness oh so much to think about and they are going for the sarnier what oh this gets punished by so much oh please reveal any bestial Oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. Why not pop your own Havness here? Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, now we get to go uh, Sprint. We get to send Murley. We get to make Kit Kalos. Oh, my goodness. Wow, we got everything. That was such a greedy play. Havness lost to this too. Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> I guess I'm getting excited, but it is functionally identical to just banish the Havness when it goes to the graveyard. Wait. How long have we had a Magnemut? Huh? Huh? What if we have a Magnemut? Why did... Why do we let the Serenir resolve? <laughs> and 
I guess it's fine. By going into dark, we really don't have too much to do here. Wow, they held that forever. <clears throat> wow. You know, credit where it's due. That was pretty heads up. Just feels like... I guess it didn't matter, because even if they... Instead of dark, they go for a sprint. You just uh, magnum at the sprint target. Oh my god. And we've got an instant fusion. Wow, this has got to be the end of the game. Wow. That's incredible. What a top deck. Sometimes you just want it more. Yeah, Fuji says, nah, nah, we're not playing this one out. All right, time for that all-important game three. Oh, man. Will Fuji be able to run it back, the 3-0, or will the pressure be too much? Will they fall in finals to some person? All right, Fuji's going first, unsurprisingly. And Keldo is a pretty sick start. Keldo is a pretty sick start. Keldo pitch Keldo. Oh, excellent. Just grab Mudora here. Oh, we're grabbing Kelbeck even. Oh, that's interesting. Mudora pitch Kelbeck. Are we going to Kelbeck? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we've got six hits here. Oh! <coughs> oh, God. Don't show me that shit. Oh, my God. Oh, oh! Oh, no! Oh, Nelly! Oh, Nelly, that is... <clears throat> that's, that's not great. Wow, they both could trigger their... So, Scream gonna get the, uh, the Sullyek back. And we'll grab a Rhino Heart as well. Oh, so we have Havness already? That's crazy. Uh, well. <laughs> says we are going to Keldo here, please. What are we Keldoing? Is this Dweller Pass? I think it might be. Uh, going for Keldo, Mudora, and our Pellerino. Imagine this will be met with a Keldo to banish the other Keldo. But otherwise, not particularly exciting. <laughs> He's giving him back the uh, orange light, too. Says, here, why don't you knock yourself out? All right, the normal's got to be crazy, and it's got to contest Havness. Oh! Banished. Dweller. Oh, God. This is... This is it. Or is it it at all? Is it it at all? No! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We can still do this. Could still do this. Let's see, Pellerino? <laughs> it's gonna be Pellerino, I mean. Really all that does it. We have not normaled yet. Talents is so bad in this deck, just could not disagree more. <laughs> Especially out of the board. Oh, okay. That's a normal. Haveness? We know we know they probably have it, because they added Rhino Heart. Okay, here we go. Haveness for three. Oh, we hit, we hit a Havness. We hit a Heartbeat, too. I don't think we have a trap in here. We don't. What did they hit? Merly. Merly Keldo. So Havness here. They go Keldo, Merly. 
We have to fire the Mudora on field. So they can't Keldo. They've already keldo this turn. But we fire the Mudora on field. We get Keldo Murley. And then we do actually get to resolve Havness. Oh, man. This is such a stinker. Yeah. Says, all right, fine. You got it. Mudora on field. <clears throat> Murley, Keldo for sure. Well, the Mudora wasn't making anything. No, he could have made a uh, Baguska. <laughs> Get him out of there. Havness plus maybe even a card in hand. I mean, having a two on field is just so incredible. Kid Close. Kid Crab Rido? Trying to get some information about this hand. He's thinking about it. I mean, it is, it is legitimately a very hard call to make here. Scream. Wow. Wow. That's really interesting. We had the rhino in hand the whole time? And we elected to normal Merley? Wow. That's something. Well, that's everything. <clears throat> that's one, two, two new shufflers, and every single name. I guess we didn't hit Sheer in this turn. So we'll send the shear in off the Rhino Heart. Uh, then we can go Rukalos, uh, Garua. Did we spin the Murley back? We did. Uh, Ghost Reapers with three. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> wow, Fuji is um <laughs> trying his hardest on this one. All right, so we're going to go for uh, Rukulos for sure. Not sure about the second one. We do have an extra Rhino, so we could go into Kaleido Heart, spin the, um, the Havness, but I don't know. Like, it might just be worth, like, setting up, getting, like, a Garua, making a Dark. Getting back Reaper. There's really nothing you can do with that. <clears throat> Listen, like, Kaleido Heart is Kaleido Heart, but the draw could be anything. It could even be Kaleido Heart. We can, like, overlay for Redoer. Or, like, Kaleido Heart, Redoer, Rukulos. That seems pretty hard to beat. But it could happen. Yeah, we're going for Kaleido. Oh, we'll spin back that Havness. And overlay, probably. That graveyard's looking bleak. I mean, that's not a bad hand. 
Oh man, if that's Celiac, I imagine it is, right? Because had the chance to search Celiac after, or um, rather than Scream and selected Scream instead. Redo her in standby. What are we getting? Oh, lucky. Oh, very lucky. Sheeran, that's a good start. Mm, I guess you let this resolve. Not a lot you can do about it. Uh, whoa, we only pitched shufflers there, actually. So this contests our shufflers, which is unfortunate. But it does not contest the board at all. If you have something to do, I wonder if you, like, proactively shuffle. Oh, it's just... Oh. It's a lot to think about. Um, this board is already has so many different points of interaction. <clears throat> We're going Mudora here. We're going to tar target all the shufflers and that Herald. You're getting the Herald back. <clears> hmm. <throat> Uh, chaining Mudora here. Get rid of your Keldo. He elected not to scream. Well, of course not. Scream would resolve in the same chain as um, the Shufflers, right? <clears throat> hmm. Uh, no, it wouldn't. Might as well wait, though. For something to happen. You want to be able to, like, flex some of these effects a little more offensively. Alright, what else do we have? Triple tack? Normal Merly. Ooh, that is a really weird one, actually. That's probably not worth negating because it flexes in a sprint. Probably just wait for the name. Yeah, seems like a decent time to scream. We're redoing as well. Okay. We hit Rhino Heart, Keldo. We hit Keldo, Keldo. <laughs> Rhino Heart, obviously. Havness. So we go Rhino Heart here. Keldo target the Rhino Heart. And the Keldo. And then we reserve the Rukulos to contest the Merly sent off Sprind. And then we still have a Negate live. That seems pretty good. We can, we can even re reserve Rukulos as long as possible. And then Suliak the Sprind. <clears throat> a lot of different ways to do this. Yeah, there's dark. Um, hmm. I wonder if this is worth Celiacing. We've got targets. We've got like um, the Bestials. Like Magnemut is a sick hit here. Yeah, that's what we're going for. We are going to Celiac this. Letting it resolve. If we want to, we can burn the Kaleido here and then use the Kaleido to spin the dark, which prevents it from triggering. Yeah, it looks like we're doing that. Oh, man. <laughs> there's, <clears throat> there's so much going on under the hood in these games.
Send Havness, Kaleido Spin, Spin, Havness, Reaper again. What are we revealing? Kit? Yeah. Okay. Looks like we are going to be making a Dragostopelia here, probably. Or uh, a Garua. Garua, Jamaica. Oh, I want to take you. I guess we could make Yamma yeah, Dragon. That's like funny. Oh, we opened two Reaper. That's actually pretty frustrating. Set one pass. No. No, not like this. And that's lethal on board. I can't fathom what the set card would have to be. Storming Mirror Force. Oh, I don't know if I even would activate that. Pellerito. Oh my god. We drew the field spell too. We can Keldo shuffle back a Havnus eat this set card. You know what? You might even not do it. You might even not do it. Yeah, we're going to battle phase. Redoer in. Oh, what is it? Please show us. Mud Dragon in. And, and anyone left. Any other one can do it. It was Suliak. Oh. And Mount Fuji has done it. He is your first ever three time consecutive chalice lime monthly champion how does he do it how does he do it ladies and gentlemen it is wow it is just that easy that's so shocking oh my god oh lord i'm going to bed thank you all so much for sticking around i really appreciate it I know that uh, Ishizu Tierlamin mirrors are not the most fun for everyone, but they're the most fun for me, and that's what counts. I will see you all next month. If you want to play in one of these exclamation mark socials and uh, head over to the Discord, you can get directions on how to do so there. Uh, thanks so much to uh, Coder and Alpha Cretin for uh, helping up with the uh, bot support for the tournament, for Rebby for basically moderating everything, and I will see you in the next one. Holy shit, I can't believe he did it. I can't believe he did it.